Please, Dreaming of a White Christmas 2020. This is a non-canon episode where we put our characters into silly seasonal adventures. So grab some candy and settle in for a light-hearted adventure. Or is it the only canon episode? Maybe this is truly what is canon. Because, you know, maybe it's the canon <laughs> is the friends we made along the way. Or the canon maybe. that we fire. Mm. Along the way. Maybe. Along the way. Along the way. Your friends are the true canon you fired <laughs> along the way? Yeah. Friendship was the canon you found. It was the, it's the name of the canon. It says mm-hmm. on the side, it says Friendship. Yeah. My canon says the Petit Mort. Yeah, that's <laughs> also what it said. <laughs> uh, that would be, what, what's, what's French for big? What is what is French for for large? Le, le, le grand. Grand. Is grand. It grand. So it'd be Grand Mort then instead. The Grand Hotel. Big death? Yeah, yeah if it's a oh, canon okay. instead of a crossbow. <laughs> so the, the crossbow is called Le Petit Mort, the canon would be called Le Grand Mort or whatever. Is a big death. Alrighty. Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fun stuff. Gross. 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 Yeah, it is pretty gross. You. Uh, feminine <laughs> is grosse. Uh, masculine would be gross. Okay. I was wondering why it was grand. I was like, that doesn't sound yeah, right. That would be, My that would be like a quality of like a good quality, like grand or great or good instead of large. Mm-hmm. Anyway, last year. The friendly folks of Christmas Town were saved by the quick thinking and inspiring words of the party. They fought off terrible monsters and slew the Christmas treant that had been sneakily sold to the town to defend against Nikolaus. But it turned out that the traveling salesman, Sinterklaus, was himself in league with the nefarious Nikolaus. Our friends left the town safe for another year. But tonight, on a windswept winter road in Ville, a sudden blizzard blew in cutting visibility to nothing. The group stopped their carriage and hunkered down to wait out the storm. But by the next morning, upon opening the carriage, they found themselves parked in the center of Christmas Town. <gasps> Christmas Town? Hmm. <laughs> so to place this in relative canon in, in your guys' mind, uh, this is when y'all were probably <sighs> leaving Ville to go and confront Larb at the very end, probably. We were heading to the Holy City to get our weapons blessed. Yeah, that was it. You guys were heading to the Holy City to get your weapons blessed, and this is when uh, this has taken place. Wow. <clears throat> <laughs> so, you find yourself in Christmas Town. The sun is low in the sky. It appears to be morning at some to some degree. And you have uh, a bunch of people moving about the town, bu- uh, putting up decorations and trimming trees and looking relatively happy about everything. Oh, what a waste of space. We're here again? Am I going blind? Why is all the Kayo gone? Do you guys remember this place? I swear we've been here before. I don't know. I feel like Ville looks the same to me. It smells like capitalism. This isn't Phil. <laughs> I think it looks rather festive. What? This isn't Ville? No. <laughs> this doesn't have the same, like, village architecture at all. It's got the, the big dolls. Isn't it German esque? Is this it's town a, German? It's a nondescript European build. I I come oh, tell from an architecture part, okay? <laughs> is it the dolls are big, so the, the tables are big, that's so all like we all do this is in question. So every other place looks like a building here? Well if you show me a chair, I could probably tell the difference because I can tell the difference between the chair legs. What the fuck? I think it was a height <laughs> joke. Are you making 
Petravian, <clears throat> you're a height joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what it is about this town, but <laughs> everything just seems so jolly. Oh, this is probably your first time here. The last time we were here, you know, Marcus was with us. So, uh, yeah. welcome to this one weird town that we got to on a ship with Cal before, but I feel like I forgot it. Yeah. It's weird. Why is there so much goddamn snow? Well, it's in the middle of winter. What do you fucking expect? There wasn't this much snow anywhere else. I mean, kind of. <laughs> you just didn't see it on the maps because they're all made with grass on there instead of fucking snow. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, if we're here, we may as well check and see if they at least have something to help us with glyphs. Is this not jingling? Do you hear that? Is that... Where else the jingling come from? I think it's in your ears. Probably uh-huh. someone's talking about you. Um, I... So, so <clears throat> for, uh, for look- reference, I don't think Petravian has ever actually seen snow before. Um, so he's... No, there's definitely snow in the field. Yeah, there was snow in the campaign at this point. Yeah, at the, there, exactly there was snow time. in the campaign and your character's like 100 years old. So yeah, okay. Just okay. We sorry. just didn't really talk about the snow, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so anyway, we, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we the maps a bit more. Because, <clears throat> yeah, the maps the maps show it, the, the country in summer, but it's a temperate climate, so it definitely okay. snows in the winter. Okay, sorry. Uh, continue. So Vera's going to look around and see if there's any shops or temples in this small, shitty town. <laughs> and if they have anything that can bless her weapons. Okay. Stepping away from the carriage and walking further into the town, uh, you see a number of strange people milling about, doing things uh, like putting up weird decorations or singing songs. And one one thing you see is a somewhat familiar face. Ah, yes. The black and white photos are back again. (laughs) (laughs) You see uh, a person that you remember as if it was in a dream. You think his name was Bosley. So you you look at him and you you kind of place him in a weird part of the back of your mind. You're like, wait a minute, I know that guy. And he certainly seems to recognize you. Oh, it's the lot of you. Welcome back. Ah. It's it's Hi. me, Bosley. Uh, I was the the innkeeper at the Grand Hotel. Yeah. You remember us? The one we landed on. Of course, I remember you. You all landed on it. Y- yeah, we were in a skyship. Remember, uh, you weren't here, right? Uh- <laughs> hmm. Well, it's a bit strange. Christmas Town has a different reaction on some folks, and well, it seems like the memories of outsiders just aren't quite as sharp as the folks that actually live here in Christmas Town. Hmm. Maybe it's something about the magic of this place that keeps our minds sharp, or maybe it's something about going back to wherever you're from makes it fuzzy. Maybe it's just well, the plantation in the air. Who could that? Welcome back, either way. Thanks. It's Christmas you... Eve, after all. What? 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 It's Christmas Eve. I think it was, like, March. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what or you Or at mean. least the end of February. <laughs> oh no, it's certainly Christmas Eve. It's what probably... day is that? <laughs> It's probably one of those made-up holidays to sell different goods. Things have oh. been much smoother this year, I'll say. We've we've gotten the, the warding trees are working just fine, and we've even managed to, to enhance the protections around the town by incorporating these wonderful bells. He, he points to like, uh, the corners of some buildings have these large silver bells hanging off of them. They ring in the as breezes push by. You didn't buy these from some shyster again, right? Hmm. Define shyster. Oh, go ahead. A guy that's very large and maybe a red... Was he in a red coat last time? Oh, it's like these memories are flooding back in a really weird order. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Probably. You guys <laughs> really didn't beyond anything from last time? Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> What do you mean? We we learned about the the wonderful power of the Christmas spirit. If I remember correctly, which I certainly do, uh, Soul here sang a song and led everyone in Christmas carols. My memories are fading back to me kind of weirdly too, because I remember something about punching the shit out of a tree. Yes, we did kill a giant Christmas tree. And yeah, that's right. I I'm I'm thinking Why? the power of of not being bought over by e- crazy people. And not having to punch giant trees is also a great Christmas tradition, huh? Um, Petravian's looking a little shocked, like, well, 
Why would you all kill a tree? They're, they're trees. Tree, they need yeah. us first! They broke my robot! The tree attacked first, so technically it wasn't murder. It was more of self-defense, Petravian. I, uh, well, I think it attacked first. Okay. I'm pretty sure it killed someone. We weren't there. Levet was first, and then we got there and there was like blood everywhere. <laughs> it was weird. Levet, did you shoot with a crossbow first, or did it attack you first? Wait, the tree bled? Trees bleed sap, duh. Petravian just going to go back to looking at all the silver bells in the snow. This is a lot for him right now. So I've got a burning question off the side out of character real quick. Have we ever seen underneath Bosley's hat? No. I just noticed that we know a guy named Bosley and we've he's always we've always ever seen him wearing a hat. I mean, I made fun of him <laughs> for being like a hair brand, so Yeah. Thank you. There's a tree star under there, I just know it. So Anyways, as great as this talk of Christmas and everything else is, do you have anything that can bless our weapons or anything in this fantastic town? Woo! Well, I mean, aside from the the power of, of Christmas and the, the miracles of, of family and friendship and I mean, all of the, the nice thing that brings the season together, yeah, it's I mean, not isn't cut. that a blessing enough? No, not at all. Not, really. not when you're dealing with some kind of demonic force from another realm or some shit. Da, who, what, like Nicholas? Yeah, yeah, that guy. He's a big I forgot awesome. his name. I'm so... A lot bigger. More well, mouths. I mean, see me now. Typically, we we deal with him with exactly that, with the Christmas spirit. How's that them walking out? Well, the town's still here, isn't it? It's <laughs> not. I mean, sure, maybe we don't leave town very often, and maybe. Sometimes the town is attacked by possessed toys and animated Christmas trees and snowmen and creepy little elf things. You know, we should really get out of this town. How did we even get here? <laughs> he very nearly trails off to nothingness, but then he comes back. But we're still here, and we're still making the best of it. See? And we even have new visitors this year. He, new visitors? He, mm-hmm. He, he kind of sweeps his arm, and he shows that across the, the commons of the town... You actually notice some some odd-looking different people standing around. Uh, you see a uh, a harpy putting a star on top of a tree. What's the uh, harpy look like? What's that harpy look like? Uh, yeah. I don't know, uh, like a like a harpy, I guess. Well, what what are the colors of the feathers? Like a like a like the you know a flame kissed morning sky. What the fuck? <laughs> Who describes shit like that? <laughs> Christmas oh, Some town. fucking Dickinsonian bullshit. Get that out of here. What does flame kissed infer? I'm trying to figure out how that works. Like, a red sky? Like, it's like lots of fire? A uh, flame kiss to me just sounds like it's slightly singed. <laughs> like a uh, slightly burnt, like a burnt, what do you call it? Uh, marshmallow. The sky? All right. So you see a, a harpy. Uh, trimming a tree, and you you think you recognize her. Uh, she she seems like someone you've met before, but you can't quite place it. You also see a small humanoid, smallish humanoid, short, medium size. Oh boy! You see kind of a nondescript white-haired humanoid uh, that is uh, probably running around playing games with some townsfolk, and then uh, you see. In a far corner, you see a dark elf trying their best to read through different pieces of, of literature, little, these strange little short stories. And then also you see in the town gazebo, where you all were singing Christmas carols last year, you see a uh, Serpentes over there. So it seems to be wowing the crowd. Mildly uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, but... <laughs> A, a flustered <laughs> seeing Serpentes. Who the fuck are these people? More of the imprisoned, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> imprisoned. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so much. And then uh, also, uh, in one part of the town, <laughs> you see a half-orc. Okay. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they are there as well. Yeah, what does she look like? Describe her. Fun. I forget. Last time we were here, were we able to leave, or were we, like, stuck in... We were stuck here, because Cal's, like, um, the ship had crashed. Yeah, the ship was malfunctioning, it couldn't leave. 
This yeah. time, your your carriage is just kind of sitting in the middle of town, so... I mean... Oh, is it Kel this time? Kel this time? Well, I guess it's time to leave. <laughs> yeah, but don't you guys remember what they said last time? I mm-hmm. literally don't think I've ever been here. Okay, um... Last time they said people who try to leave just come back in through the other side. We can try, but I just want to let you know that might be a possibility. I want to try now just to find out. It's only interesting. Okay. Well, well, if you're leaving already, uh, uh, have a good day then. See ya, Bosley. Merry Christmas. What the fuck is that? (laughs) So, so does everyone get in or do, or is it just Um, Lovette and... Vera moving. Actually, I'm going to grab oh, Archie okay. and ha- fly with him because I want to see what this looks like from high up. I'm like, okay. wait, is there going to be infinite looping Christmas towns? It. Okay. So, uh, uh, Lovett, you deploy Archibald. Mm-hmm. And he looks around. No, don't worry, there's no more trees this time. Uh, I, I remember this place. Oh, you do? What the fuck he's talking? Archie, you can talk? That's weird. Is that the magic of Christmas? I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as Christmas. What the fuck? <laughs> Walking on some uh, upclates. The magic of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so you, de- you deploy Archie. Uh, he looks around in amazement and wonderment at all the, the beauty around him. He catches a snowflake on his finger, <gasps> and then and then he uh, he is asked to take flight with Lavette. And uh, fly to, you know, fly up, right? Mm-hmm. Up and, and uh, I guess, southwards, whichever direction we were heading in, northwards, where we were okay. going. So you guys uh, take off, and you fly up, and you get pretty far off the ground, and I would like you to make a perception check, please. We'll call it. <laughs> because if we remember, Lavette has the best perception checks. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah, her perception is fantastic. I mean, if Archie can look as well, he's actually got a good perception. Yeah, we go ahead and roll for one for Archie then as well. I figured I don't see why I need to be good at it when I have another character who can be good at it. Yeah, exactly. Wanna roll. There we are. Oh, nice. Archie's. Hey, there we go. And well, that's is a no. <laughs> <laughs> I somehow knew that was going to fucking happen to her. Right. <laughs> okay. He's uh, so, really going up here. <laughs> all right, so Archibald gets a 30. Lovette gets a 6. Um, Archibald is flying up and up and up and then suddenly stops very abruptly uh, <laughs> raises his arms over his head and kind of stops you from getting crushed against some invisible barrier is this a fucking snow globe? <laughs> oh I'm not doing this crap of shit no no oh, shit. oh my no God. it seems like no. now you're up here it looks like there's a slight curvature in the it does look like a dome of some oh, kind is over past. that whole area. Can I see past the dome? It's sort of blurry out there. You can't yeah. quite make out any detail. No detail. Okay, that's a little less existentially terrifying then. Yeah, you're not. You're not. You can't like see that you're on someone's mantle or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. Quite that would have been horrifying. something. But no, you you just can't quite make out any detail beyond the dome of this. It, it's it looks like. Christmas Village exists in some sort of pocket dimension, perhaps. Well, cool. <clears throat> oh, let's go back down and tell everybody what we found. So, yeah, I'll tell Archie to do just that. All right, Archie will follow your instructions and land back in the center of town. Uh, Archie lands uh, amidst a group of children having a snowball fight, and uh, they immediately start pelting Archie with snowballs. <laughs> Bust out the crossbow. <laughs> back off! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, that's at it again. Archie just starts scooping snow and then <laughs> slinging just... Oh, that's probably more dangerous, buddy. You'd be better careful. <laughs> he buries a couple of kids in the distance. Wow. Uh, murder. bones crack. <laughs> hey, no ice Well, bones. don't worry. The magic of Christmas will heal them. Mm. Come over to the group with kind of, Not like a solemn look, but just very, like, deadpan. Be like, it's not clean. Not clear. Just, what? I'm sorry. What? I, I don't. I don't know what's going on. We can't. It's just like we are in a box. I don't. What? <laughs> how did we get here? What is going? On? I assume like the last time we got here. Magic. Why well, there's a, there's a ceiling? What? A, a, it's 
<laughs> and now it's really debated in this day, man, but apparently it's all, it's a glass ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Well, why didn't you break it? I was, I thought you barely didn't uh, make a dent in it. Did he try? <laughs> Well, yeah, we it got looked like you just kind of did this like whoop whoop party movement, and then you guys were down. Well, you were watching our whole thing, and you didn't. And the, oh, well, you saw what's going on then. No, oh. no, I didn't. I did. I'm very confused. <laughs> Vera has managed to prepare the carriage. Oh, are we going? Uh, yeah. If we can't go up, then let's go Aww. home. Great. Aw. Yeah. While y'all have been talking, Petra had kne- knelt down. I was starting to make a snowman. <laughs> it's like, really? We have to? What kind of snowman? Yeah, what kind of snowman? Is, Is it, it human? human? No. Elven? It's a halfling snowman. Snow halfling? Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Your mm-hmm. weird, creepy obsession with halflings again, Petravian. What I think obsession? he's just doing that because it's easy. Oh, but he's so large. You think he could make, like, a Goliath snow person? Well, I don't think the snow would stay together well enough to make a big one. All right, everybody, get your asses in the okay, cart. Okay, okay, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Meanwhile, Chisel is half buried in a snowbank. <laughs> <laughs> Just standing there as it comes down. Reese's and Pieces, brother. <laughs> Chisel snorts. <laughs> All right, so we start down the road. All right, mm. so you guys load up the carriage and head out of town, and Bosley... Waves at you as you go. Wishes you all a Merry Christmas. And you head out of town. And there, you know, the town's sort of surrounded by maybe some woods. And some some surrounding farmland. You know, things seem pretty normal. And there's more farmland. And, and you see some buildings in the distance. Wait. And as you as you approach the buildings, you realize that it's Christmas Town. <sighs> I'm not going to say I told you so, but I'm going to stare at you knowingly. You see a, a happy little snow-swept village covered in strange decorations, and there's a number of, of people around. So what happens if I go up now? <laughs> like, well, between the two Christmas towns. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> oh, good. I can continue my snowman. Is the snowman still here? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Bosley is what waves at you and says, Welcome back! Merry Christmas! Hi, Bosley. Merry Christmas. Hello! So it seems like we're going to be here a while. Well, if you'd like. Would so, you want me to get you all rooms at the at the hotel again? I would, actually. Let's uh, Tell me more about your town. And he just uh, he starts wow. walking off with Bosley. All right, well, Bosley will happily take Petravian on a, a little tour of the town. You know, when that wizard comes back, I'm going to get him and I'm going to ask him what the hell's going on here. What wizard? Obviously, the person that Petravian's talking to is a wizard. The hotel owner? They're always extremely happy. Look, they definitely know what's going on here. It's not my fault that you can't remember last time. <laughs> so is it always snowy here? Oh, sometimes. Uh, sometimes we have a, a, a green Christmas, but those are rare. Mm. What about blue Christmases? I hear about those green Christmases. <laughs> but Chartreuse? normally it's, it's more more snowy and, you know, like this. Periwinkle. I'm not hearing you. Say again. Sorry, it's picking up on our mic. I was saying... What about chartreuse? Blue? Periwinkle? And you hear a slap. <laughs> oh, wait, let me do that better. So tell me about your silver bells. Oh, well, we picked You can't up. just ask someone about their silver bells, Petravi. <laughs> well, it's how we know it's Christmas time in the village. You ring a ling, hear the ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. I do you hear children laughing? Oh my god. <laughs> and there's people passing. Look at those. Meeting all smile smiles. after smile. Smiles on all of them. And you know what? As you get to the street corner, you know what you hear? What do I hear? You hear someone singing. <gasps> what are they singing? Santa baby, just slip some poison under the tree for me. Been an awful good boy, Santa baby. So hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa baby... A plus five dagger or two, it's true. I'll wait up for you, dear Santa baby, so hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I've missed. 
Think of all the fellas that I haven't kissed. Oh my. Next year, I could be just as good if you check off my Christmas list. There's a, a, there's a, there's a crowd of people uh, gathered around watching a Serpente sing under the gazebo at this side of town, and they're all, like, clapping. So the Serpentes is definitely indoctrinated by now. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is that that's a song that Scurry hates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am, uh, okay, I love your I love the uh, the changes to it, but yeah, I really hate that real, that real song. It's like, uh, I feel dirty listening to it. Ugh. Don't you worry, Yaculus is very dirty. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Why, why can't Santa get any? What's wrong yeah. with that? <laughs> Is... Santa needs love too. Right. I mean, apparently Santa has. To I always thought to... it was Mrs. Claus singing to Santa. Yeah, exactly. That's how I interpreted the song. I that... I've never thought of it that way. I never no, have either. Yeah. And that's, you know that's what? Kind of I like it. I like I it. I mean, uh, okay. after the settlements are made, it will be that way for sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I just, I just hope Santa had a prenup. That's all I'm saying. So. <laughs> Wow, that was very impressive. Who was that? What? Oh, that's one of the guests this year. We get guests every year. Huh. This... But I suppose this is your first time in Christmas Village. Hmm. It is. Well, I... This is a lot of fun, actually. I'm glad you enjoy it. It's really a, pl- a remarkable place. He takes you inside a large building. Uh, the sign outside simply reads The Grand Hotel. Mm-hmm. This is how they indoctrinate you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in. I like how Petravian just left us. <laughs> oh no, he, he is falling for this hook, line, and sinker, just like <laughs> I think Vera is going to go to whatever individuals are nearby and ask, ask them how they got here. So we'll be following by your heels. <clears throat> um, so who's the first person that I see? Well, you see a you see a dark elf reading um, like, with a stack of little books, like reading through them and looking like more and more frustrated. <laughs> Excuse me. Moo looks up at you. Oh no. <laughs> what? Nothing. Listen, all I want to know is how you got here. I don't know. Wow, but I. I was reading books and then I was just here suddenly. You can go now. You're, you're fine just being here? Well, I'm trying to figure out these weird literatures they have. Nothing is scientific here. They're all in rhymes. I don't think you understand the catastrophe that's happening in this town. Oh, I think I do. This place is bullshit. Uh-huh. I can't get out. Uh-huh. And I want to leave. We have something to do right now. Okay. You're going to be no help to, to me, are you? I, I don't know what you fucking want from me. We just, I just appeared here, and now they're... <laughs> Vera just turns away. <laughs> they go to the next you person. still suck at alchemy. What, what does that mean? <laughs> he's going to go to the next person. Who's next? Okay. Can I, can uh, I <clears throat> yeah, I'm waiting to for my return trip. I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, sure, sorry. What, what were you saying? Want to make sure you know if I'm with the party at this point. I ran up to check on the thing a second time. I wanted to check on what it was like between the towns elevated. Um, so as you fly out of town and mm-hmm. try to go to the side, mm-hmm. uh, make another perception check. All right. Uh, for yourself and for Archie as well. <laughs> Appreciate it. Start with his because that's the one that hey, matters. Hey, Archie gets it again. All right. Yeah, so as you, you fly out of town at more of a, an angle... Uh, Archie, again, stops you guys in time from slamming into an enormous invisible glass wall. Oh, I, okay. It's like, it's like punching it. Just so Archie makes a did. perplexed beep and tries to Just... punch it, but it has no effect at all. I, it doesn't I even make sound, did. as strange as that, as that is. Like, you, you, there's not even it. like a reverberation. Yeah, you, you can you can reach out and touch it, and it's it's just a solid glass wall, but it's silent and... Apparently impenetrable. Cool. All right, that's fun. I'm glad to know that. It's funny all those, buddy. <laughs> so Archie makes a, yeah. a beep or two, and then we'll uh, take you back to the village. Mm. Meanwhile, uh, Vera, you walk to the next group of people in town. Uh, <clears throat> you see a, uh, a couple of people standing around. Uh, you see a, a harpy dressed up in, like, very, 
like I would say flashy local clothing, like all all like white trimmed cloaks and a, a weird hat with, with like a white trim around the bottom and then like a red kind of almost like a conical shape, but it droops off to the side and ends in like a big fuzzy white ball. Okay. Uh, and standing next to them is a tiefling and uh, overplaying with um, a bunch of kids is uh, there's another one, the one with the white hair throwing snowballs at children. I will get you next time! No one can take me down! <laughs> they seem to be having a lot of fun. I go to Sol and I whisper, All right, I'll take the white-haired one. Mm-hmm. You take the bird and the devil, okay? But you can't just say that about <laughs> other races, Vera! What? <laughs> Seriously? The bird and the devil! <laughs> That's wow. racist! You know that's a harpy. You've seen a fucking harpy before. And that's, um, I'm pretty sure that's a tiefling. I've never met one before. Well, I mean, tiefling sometimes it can be... Are you sure it's a tiefling? She's got a tail. Well, I shouldn't assume their gender. I don't know them. They've got a tail. Yes. Do demons not have tail- tails? I don't know. I've never met... Well, I mean, some of them did when we faced them, but not all of them. I guess they... I guess they I'm might be a tiefling. They do look a lot more like brown hair. So. Who? Ah, don't worry about it. This We need to figure out this first, and then we can talk about whatever other garbage. We'll right. Talk about. That's season two stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Go All ahead. Right. So Vera will approach not Paydor. <laughs> Hello there. There was uh, a snowball at you. I, li- I like to reflex to uh, smack it out okay. of the air. Um, uh, make a reflex save, and also, um, Kenny, roll a d20, please. Okay. Nine. Okay, okay. Come on. 25. <laughs> uh, yeah, in that case, Vera is able to dodge out of the way of the snowball at the last second, and it will you know, continue on, and it, it's going to sail across the area and smack into ah! Lovette. <laughs> <laughs> Who threw that? Who threw that? Hello! Alright, let's keep the throwing to minimum. Why? But... We are playing, are we not? No, we're trying to get out of here. Oh, I don't think that's possible. How long have you been here? Like a really long time. Yeah, see, that's why we need to get out. We have a deadline to get out of here. Like, within the next week, at least. Yeah, we've been here, like, all day. Oh, well... (laughs) (laughs) It's been a long time. Well, what have you tried? Hmm. Let's see. I ran for a really long time, but kept appearing here. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second as my brain um get, gets together, apparently. <laughs> I ran, like, a really long time. And then I was here again. And then Yakula said that was too much work, so then he started to sing, and then, like, some kids played with me, and, uh, now I'm just kind of waiting it out. Hmm. Hey, so, how did we get out of here last time? Uh, Cal fixed the ship, and then he picked us up, and we flew out of here. Wait a minute, did they add in a glass ceiling since then? I think Lovett's just crazy. It's always been there. It's been like this forever. It's just part of society. No, we flew out of here last time. <laughs> how how far up did Lovett fly? <laughs> oh, a couple hundred feet. Now, we've gotten out of here before, so clearly something's changed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that we should talk to that bar owner because I think he knows more than he's letting on. He was a hotel owner. <laughs> <laughs> Vera does not know this. <laughs> Soul just slowly getting more exasperated by you not caring about what this person is. I can just visualize Vera's face of what the fuck is the difference? <laughs> Between a wizard, a barkeep, bar and a hotel owner. He, he owns a hotel, which is kind of like a fancy inn. Is, is any of this clicking for you? Basically, it's the same thing, right? Like No! If you own a hotel, you're also probably serving drinks, yeah, right? Yeah, you're not the one doing it. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. We'll have to ask him. And while we're asking him, we can ask him what the hell is going on here. 
That tiefling just asked me to sign a bunch of contracts while I was asking her, like, about, like, what's up with this area. I, did you? No, oh. but it was weird. Oh. She didn't seem to care. What, what about the mm, harpy? Good job. Uh, <laughs> Still a bird. Oh my god, Barry, you can't say that. Are harpies birds? Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, wait. Like, uh, yes. Technically birds? Yes, love well, they're a humanoid creature. <laughs> yeah, unless... but what, but, well, I, but they really draw, they really, are they birds? Oh my god. Yep. Yes, love it, they are birds. Like, oh my god, Gaia, stop it! Wait, they do lay eggs? This is so racist, I'm so There's no places. It's, it's etymology. It's a, it's a scientific question. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a bell. I just been wondering if whales on the lines of fire if they are mammal or bell. If I suddenly grew wings the other day, would you consider me a bird? It'd definitely be a question to ask. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Symphonia, help me. Maybe not just like you wings, but if you had lots of wings, oh no, that would really be a bell, I guess. You hear a whisper on the wind, no. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> At least it didn't say rosebud. <laughs> I hate you. Wait, we're in a snow globe. <sighs> so that's perfect. Yep. Yeah. That's perfect. I love it. Uh, she didn't seem to really care, it seemed. They uh, said they'd get out when they get out. It's a lot safer here than where they were. It was weird. Then there was, like, a small, like, conversation about kidnapping. <laughs> and gods. And what? I kind of stopped listening. Wait, was it people like kidnapping someone? Well, not here, apparently. Well, then. Okay. It's just always nothing serious, I guess. I mean, you can We are kind on. of in the middle of something, so I can't really do that for this. Vera's going to still be interacting with Pedor. Mm-hmm. And I was like, so. So. Are you, what, are you just going to copy me? No. <laughs> you don't want to stay here, right? Eh. Eh? I mean, it is fun, and it's safer currently. Well, if you want to help, don't stop. stop. <laughs> Pedor's imitating, like, all of Vera's gestures currently. <laughs> We're going to find a way out of here. If you want to uh, join, that sounds good. Are you having a party? No. Oh. At, at that very moment, Petra's going to burst out of the front door... Uh, out of the of the Grand Hotel and yell over to uh, look around the square and, and yell over to Vera. Vera! Vera, come in here! It's like a party uh, going on in here! Why would I care about... <sighs> Vera's going to uh, trudge over. Goodbye! Uh, Since when does that <laughs> like Vera? What's going on? Hello, small one. You are very cute. Hi. Thank you. You look like the children. Um, <laughs> I... I'm not a child, I'm Sally. I can tell by your ears. And Pador will gesture to their own ears, and they kind of grow a little bit to a point for a moment, and then go back to rounded human ears. <laughs> ah! Kill it! It's a baby! <laughs> Pador's gonna throw a snowball at you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that is there what is. you get for being out of defense. Levette's, like, brain is flashing back to gnome school, like, how to spot a greater mimic classes. <laughs> Just like, uh-oh, uh-oh, what's going on? Am I about to die here? I'm sorry, I don't taste that good. I'm sorry. Wait, does the snowball hit? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it. I, I got, I'll roll a d20. Six. <laughs> Pedor's is not accurate tonight. <laughs> Just frozen in fear as it flies over my head. Haha. <laughs> I, I'm no sorry. No, no, no. It's the way they said. They said they all tried to get you to let your guard down. I don't... I have no idea what you are saying. I'm not Voyage. I did not sick halitus on you. I was not planning on you to be eaten, strange small one. All right, I think maybe you are from the wrong food. I think you need to check yourself and your own problems first before you yell at other people to not eat you. Well, I thought the mimics are really dangerous, and they can sometimes be... What is a mimic? What? It's kind of a... Uh, uh, uh. Like, it looks like other things, but with more teeth. Like, looks like other things. You need to do that. Hmm? Oh, sorry. 
I tend to imitate people. I mean, if it's if it's a thing you have to do, I'm not going to make fun of you, but it's kind of distracting. Just stares at you. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, what so was you... so important, Petravian, that you had to show me? Look, look at this hotel. It's gorgeous. It is absolutely just decked out in all the all the holiday trimmings. Uh, I have a question. Is so since Petravian left everyone's sight for a moment and has now returned, is Petravian wearing any traditional Christmas garb now? <laughs> like a okay. sweater. Like, was, like yeah. a <laughs> sweater. No, 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 no. He he would have a wreath on his head. Uh, okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Like Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he would absolutely exactly. put a wreath on top of his head. Uh, not knowing what it would be for necessarily. But very excited to be a part of the part of the festivities. Yes, there is a party going on in here. Yes, it is big. Yes, maybe it should be burned down. What? Why? But why? Do you, do you not understand? This place is probably evil. Mm-hmm. Travian mm-hmm. looks all around like, no, no, that's not true. I said all I remember is we couldn't get out last time, and there was a giant tree monster. No, this place is too festive. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a wizard with a top hat. <laughs> hmm. Barnaby! Could you? It, it's oh Bosley. Bosley! It's fine. <laughs> Is there anything with... What do you know? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Just start smacking him. What do you know? Did, did everyone get a hot cocoa yet? <gasps> you have hot chocolate. Well, I, I put that nice tiefling in charge of it. Tiefling? Mm-hmm. He, he indicates over by the, the, the far side of a big tree, there is a small booth that the tiefling has, is standing next to that has a big pot of, of some sort of liquid over a little fire. Hmm. This table with some cups next to it as well. Oh, that would be fantastic if we weren't t- currently trapped in some kind of glass orb. Petravian leans down to Vera and says... Listen, I know it's probably nothing. I mean, we don't know everything yet. Let's just roll with it. If there's something evil, we will destroy it and get out of here. But until we do, maybe we just play the part. I'll I'll play the part for now, Petravian. But if this keeps going, I'm going to start burning shit. (laughs) I love Ferris Christmas spirit. (laughs) Yeah. Ferris is the most... It's the happiest person. It's, their Christmas spirit burns bright, just in a very different way. Yes. Dude, I want a version of the Christmas Carol now where the, the final ghost is Vera and she just hunts Scrooge down. He has to fucking run out of town. She's like, eat the rich. Fuck Christmas. <laughs> so where can I get this hot chocolate? Christmas Carol. <laughs> yes, let us get some hot chocolate. So once again, Bosley indicates the hot chocolate booth it's over, over, over yonder. on the west side of town. Yeah. It's over here on, on the other side of this gazebo where that Serpentes is singing. Vera and I wander over yonder and get some hot chocolate. Right. You approach the booth and there's a uh, there's a tiefling <gasps> in the booth. Hi. Hi there. You all look really oddly familiar. Hey. I suddenly have Hi. a bad Hello. taste Would in my Would you mouth. like to buy some hot chocolate? Oh, I'd love... To have some hot... Wait, we have to fucking buy it? <laughs> no. <laughs> but... So I... If you want, like, the best hot chocolate, <laughs> you could sign a contract for one. But Chabin, can you sign a contract for both of us? Don't yeah, yeah. Here you go, darling. My... You just sign here, 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 initial here, and sign at the bottom. Big letters, darling. Big letters. I swear if you put my name on it, though, I'll break your fingers. Oh, I don't, don't worry. Names don't matter. I don't know why but I have an innate distrust of you. That's probably because you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> also... Don't worry, it's not that unusual. <laughs> also, when I was trained, I was also trained never to We're sign never anything burned. without the without the council lawyer. A, a what? You ha- you, y'all you fuckers... Wait, what, what's your fucking god? Tell me. Go ahead. The wonderful god she, of Eden. The merciful. Uh, uh, Eden? <laughs> Sweetheart, Eden Eden is her own god, not of. It's not like a fucking place. No, but shoot, shoot, go, tell me more about your goddess. Mm-hmm. I mean, do you see all the nature that is about you? 
Yeah, all the dead nature because it's fucking snowing. Just because it's snow mm -hmm. doesn't mean no. it's does. Just because it's snow does not mean it is dead. <sighs> it is asleep. It is part of the natural order of things. Mm-hmm. Well, darling, uh, <clears throat> speaking of lawyers, um, my god happens to be the fucking god who does the lawyering. So, uh, I don't know what your game is on this. Are you going to sign the contracts or not, Patricia? Yeah, do you want your fucking hot cocoa? <laughs> no, <laughs> I will simply just pay for it. How much is your cocoa? I don't know, 50 gold? Mm. <laughs> I tell you what. <laughs> I will give you one gold. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm about to flame your ass right now if you don't leave my fucking booth. You're scaring away other customers with your racism. I look behind me. <laughs> Are there any other customers? Pedro's <laughs> waiting behind you. <laughs> Pedro's patiently waiting behind you in line, and then, like, beyond that, you can see, um, you see Bosley kind of, like, pantomiming toward Pringle to be like, smile. <laughs> like, smile. <laughs> Pringle does a smile, but it, it's all teeth, and you can see her little fangs. It's it's more of a gritting. Ugh. It's not good. It, it appears Bosley's attempting to, to coach Pringle. Bosley, distance. how much is this gold cho hot chocolate supposed to be? 50 gold seems you're, really... You're yelling across the fucking courtyard? Yes! I just had my hot chocolate. It, it's part of the celebration. It, Pringle should just be handing it out. Pringle just gives Vera one. He's like, <laughs> don't... Just, just let Kanat... Can we just make this work for the other guy, though? Because I, I think it's funny to, like, bug him or some shit, because he seems, like, super racist. <gasps> oh, I don't care. Cool. You can do whatever you want. Thanks, darling. I, I, so. <laughs> I take a sip of the hot cocoa. How sweet is it on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, this is, like, perfect Christmas hot cocoa. That's, that's not a number. <laughs> I, know, I know, it's not a number. It, it exists it's, it's purely bigger than 10. That's a 6. That's a six. What the fuck? Wow. Kind of... Maybe seven. Look, t if ten is maximum sweet, that's a that's very sweet. We gotta, we the, gotta... the, the question is, what would it taste best for Vera? Ten? Yeah, like extremely sweet because if in that the case, bitterness to sweetness ratio is wrong, Vera will spit it out or mm -hmm. throw up. Well, but here's <laughs> what I'm going to say. is Because this is a, a place of Christmas miracles, this is... This is optimum. Like this is this is the best hot cho hot hot cocoa you've ever had. Even though it might taste completely different to someone else, but it tastes perfect to them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So you taste it and it's like exactly how you would want it to be. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> well at least it's how to make something of use. Yeah. I mean, I don't it know may how even taste works. kind of like I don't know if honey would make sense in there, but it, it literally tastes like mostly honey. Mm -hmm. like Somehow. Or something mixed. Somehow. <laughs> For Vera, yeah. Yeah, they, they just told me to, like, put these pots out, and they just kind of filled on their own. Fucking magic shit. Anyways, you, darling. Uh, Mr. e Knight, <laughs> tell, tell me more about your god. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I feel like I'm being mocked. Oh, no! I would never do that. That would be completely ridiculous and unordained and blah, 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 blah. Well. You're going to sign the contract for the hot cocoa or what? No, thank you. I will simply... Okay, bye. I will... Tater, come up here, sweetheart. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Pringle. <laughs> How are like, you? I would like one more. Can I have... A big cup. Oh, here you go, sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah. Some cocoa? Oh, sure. Yeah, Ch for children, it's definitely free. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look around. What's this? Do you, do you want to sign a contract? I mean, uh, that's fine. How how smart are you, child? What kind of contract are you talking about? Ooh. For free hot cocoa? The free hot cocoa? I think you can read contract? it if you want, sugar. I can read it. I speak Lucas's. Okay, I believe that you can read it. <laughs> Hands over the contract. <laughs> did do they? So did she uh, like summon the, or is it? Did she pull it out as though it were in a bag oh, or something. She pulls it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll look it over. All right, I Maybe. would like you to make a. If you have profession lawyer, you can do that. Uh, if you have uh, linguistics, linguistics would also work. Wait, oh, I've got a good linguistics score. I'll do that. Okay. It's 27. 27. Okay. Uh, in that case, 
you you look over the contract and it does seem to be a nested mess of a contract that's mm-hmm. constantly referencing different subheadings and sections, but mm-hmm. most of it seems to be nonsense um, until you can piece together something about giving up your soul. <laughs> It's kind of nested deeply in this thing. Um, you're not entirely sure, but you think if you sign this, it entitles your soul to go to the one true God. Is the only <laughs> the only in- instance you can find of where the soul ends up being belonged to. I'll roll it up and hand it back and say, uh, "My soul is not blessed." Oh, yeah, the problem you don't want it. Did somebody call me? <laughs> oh, also, that one's nice. <laughs> also, while this is happening. Vera is shaking her head at Petravian, just saying, and you really botched it on that document signing. Couldn't even get a free hot chocolate. <laughs> Vera says as they take a sip of hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, darling, you could have gotten one free if you would have just said you were a child, but obviously you're not anymore. Not anymore. No, I haven't been for years. Wait, is she calling you a child? <laughs> Hey. What are you doing that for that? That's not... That's not funny. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> of course not. Hello there, can I have one hot chocolate? Are you gonna sign? Sign what? This fucking contract. No, do it. It's not big. It's um, not big really clean. Sorry, I'm probably gonna have an agreement with someone in a couple of days, so... I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> well, no. All right. Uh, y'all want fucking free hot chocolate, though? <laughs> yes, let's look on the other one. There you go. Can I have another one, Pringle? Jesus fucking Christ. Are you going to just drink the whole fucking magical appearing gallon thingy? Yes. I have that. Fine, fuck it here. <laughs> y'all are crying my stall. Are you going to drink your fucking hot cocoa or what? What do you want? <laughs> like everyone in the entire city, town, village... He's like, oh, it's weird. Yeah. Wow, that's good. mostly honey. That's good. Oh. Pretty good. Mine kind of tasted like spices. What? Like well, what kind of spices? Elven spices. And Levette's tastes like, what, engine grease? <laughs> <laughs> I, was about, I was about to be like, mine tastes like shit. <laughs> it tastes like <laughs> pollution. <laughs> like, oh man, this takes you right back home. But he's beat up. Wow. Petravian go back, goes back to the table to um, the hot cocoa booth and says, may I please have a cocoa? Oh. <laughs> Everyone seems to be enjoying them. Oh, offer Petravian mine. Pringle looks like their hardened grimace. Their, their lip quivers a little bit and you can see their corners are starting to go up in a bit of a smile. Seriously, all you gotta do is sign the contract. <laughs> <laughs> If you turn around, someone's got something for you, by the way. Mm? Yeah, I'm not going to take this away. Thank you. Hey, uh, Pador is standing behind Petravian with a big mug <gasps> and holding it out to him. Oh, okay. Well. Hello there. Just think, okay. <laughs> yeah, Levette yeah. Yeah, doing exactly the same fucking thing. <laughs> but she's so small. I have two. I'm I have sorry, two I forget children people. exist. I have two very small people next to, next to me. That's true. Pedro is five five. This, uh, offering me cocoa, and, I'm, and Pe- Pe- Petra's just like overwhelmed with so much uh, Christmas joy. There, thank you both so much, Levette. I can't. You. I can't take yours. Okay. Are you sure? Pedro so starts you're... taking theirs back, thinking that that means them too. Uh, uh, okay. If, you, if, if you if uh, what's your name, little miss? Ex fucking excuse me. You've been plavering for a while, the Hmm? You, you, you slept on me already. We've had out, we've, we've fought this out. I don't know it. How do you not remember my name? <laughs> right. Peter just looks between the two of you and starts stepping backwards, confused. Ah, <laughs> uh, I do not know what is going on. You and me both. <laughs> I was just going, on me though. going to say that you... You looked very familiar, but it is as if I have forgotten you at the same time. And just remembered. I feel the it same is way weird. too. What is with this town? Uh, Bosley said it's Christmas magic. Yeah, I need to ask Callie what school that is. 
Who is Karis? Karis? It's strange, you haven't seen Karis. I just figured home the, the dragon were doing their thing in the car. I didn't want to bother them. Yeah, Karis and Burr are both missing. Huh. They're not they weren't in the carriage and no one even thought to, to ask where they were until now. You know what? They're probably I wasn't in the carriage. They're probably doing their best trying to figure out how to get us out of this hellhole. Or they're having I mean, sex. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone. <laughs> um was your name Hello, my name Pe- is Pedor. How are you? Pedor. Mm. I it's almost positive. And you are Petravian. Yes, I'm almost positive we've met before. Yeah. This seems to happen a lot in non canon episodes. Petravian turns and looks in the in the direction. <laughs> Just an off direction. I agree. Uh were you offering me some cocoa? Your friend was also offering you cocoa, the child. Oh the not child, but small person. They, not a child. They are very small, but <clears throat> they are quite mighty. He's yeah. learned that one. Also, I'm sorry the offer expired. Just let's did the cocoa. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, Pedor here seems to be willing to share some, if that's yeah. okay. Levette, the cocoa, <clears throat> and when you taste it, it tastes like an all-night study session with Moira. Yeah, it does. That's exactly <clears throat> how right. Petravian takes the mug from Pedor. Thank you so very much. Everybody seems to be having so different reactions to this. It has to be it has to be very intense. Uh, Pedor ta- uh, Pedor. Petravian takes a sip of a sip of the cocoa. Petravian, it tastes like your mother's cooking. Ew. <laughs> it reminds me of, of home. Why is that ew? Because all I thought of was like stew, and I was like, why does hot yeah. chocolate taste like stew? <laughs> like it's <laughs> It tastes like yeah. Cheetos with cream <laughs> on it. It God. tastes like spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> you pour it out and it's spaghetti. Mm, Is that a spaghetti? Spaghettios. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's also take the fact that he's from a romantic, uh, a, a, a Roman back kind of ish culture. Spaghetti wouldn't be too far off. Um, Spaghettios. I really hope your hot cocoa doesn't taste like spaghetti. But <laughs> no, you know it does not taste like spaghetti. <laughs> You're... You know what? Now it does. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, um, you look into the cup. It's just spaghetti. It's spaghetti. <laughs> and beans. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> anyway, tears are actually starting to uh, fall down uh, Petravian's cheeks. If I'd known it tasted this good, I probably would have signed that contract. <laughs> After taking his drink, he looks down to Pedor and says, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You should not assume people are misses, by the way. It's really weird. My sincere apology. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even think of that. How many fix do you use up for nouns? They them. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't still that. I don't like having anything on my body, personally. I think they mean naked. What? <coughs> what? <coughs> no, I mean I don't like having genitalia. Oh. Oh. Is this all part um, of the ruse? Totally. It's totally part of the ruse. This is weird. Right? This is weird, right? Oh, I don't like know, that hot cocoa. It's pretty good, actually. <laughs> For free hot chocolate? It's good. Tips welcome. Oh. Petravian, uh, Petravian flicks a, uh, a gold piece into the tip jar. Wow, you are so very generous. <laughs> Takes the gold piece and puts it away before you can take it back. <laughs> <laughs> so, Petravian, what's the next part of this plan of pretending that I am enjoying living in this hellhole? <sighs> we need to find the source of the power here. Whether good or ill, I do not like being trapped. As pretty as it is, it... It bodes ill to me. Yeah, that's uh, where we were at. Ali, you've cut up, buddy. So, now we wow. figure out how to get on clap. He was super cheery like five seconds ago. Was it the hot cocoa? Yeah. No! It's a little bit the... out, don't you think? But no. It, I don't know, it's kind of nice. If you just keep smiling, nobody suspects. Wow. <laughs> where do you think the Christmas magic is coming from? Is it the buildings? If we got rid of the buildings, would there be any more Christmas magic? I think it's the bells. They didn't have bells last year. Hmm. That's true. Upon mentioning the bells, there's another slight gust of wind, and there's another ringing across the town of these silver bells. Uh, 
So what, makes the area appear. So what if we destroy the bells? Yeah, you know, we could try that. We can find out what they are here for. I mean, people might kind of freak out if we just start destroying things. Um, Beardy, can I mm-hmm. uh, detect magic on one of the nearby bells? Yeah, you can cast detect magic on it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the, the silver bells themselves are magical, and they appear to have a abjuration magic woven into them. What is an abjuration magic? Protection. Um, I learned that because of Gro's ring. <laughs> <laughs> Protection magic is one of my specialties. Well, can it keep people in? Could it be used to protect in levels? Is the is the I mean, uh, burial abjuration? Yeah. I, I mean, that. maybe think about it this way. Maybe this barrier, like mine, is keeping something in or out. Hmm? Well, if it's keeping something in, we should probably get rid of it, huh? I'll well, see. We should know if it's keeping something in first. Let's see if you can crack these nuts, Balchi. Okay, she's going for it. I love it when no one listens to me. Hmm? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> just you wait. One day I'm just going to leave and you're going to regret it. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't <laughs> see why that would happen. You can never leave us. Yeah, you'll stuck with us. Yeah. No, it's more like I'm stuck in a fucking village for the rest of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Bosley will hear that and say, "What? What do you mean? You're not stuck here. It's just Christmas." I wasn't talking about you. And we are stuck here. <laughs> what did the bells do? But the bells are here to protect us from Nikolaus. Oh, okay, okay, but don't Wait, what is? What, uh, is that what's keeping us in? How do we get out of? We can. We, you might, we need to get to some places. We don't want to be rude, but we have to get going. How do we get out of here, so? Uh, I think we need to defeat mm. Nikolaus. Boy, you would just... I suppose you could just head out the road, but I think he'll just come right back. We already Shall tried that. It, yeah. Christmas tends to just, you know, bring everyone together. <laughs> Forcefully. It's the oh, magic yeah. of the season. <sighs> Alright, so we play the badges, we take on these... Nicolaus thing, and then we can give for conscience real. I mean, that sounds good to me. I like. Right? I feel like it's soul. What? Are we breaking the bells then? Right? No! Why not? What? They're pretty! I wish they were gold. Yeah, personally. but they might be keeping us in here. Yeah. The probably non magic bells that they're pretty. We can take some of those. Or, I mean, you know, pearls. If we take them down, I'm guessing we're probably gonna have to deal with Nicolaus before we get out of here. Yep. Well, then Let's find out. out. Find out from the sorcerer. What for? He's an innkeeper! <laughs> you keep... Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure there's something screwed up with this guy. Vera, I love you, and I love our friendship endlessly. <laughs> I'm listening. But can you just remember, like, one fact for once? Which one? The fact you, that how about the B fact? Do you see all B fact, Vera? B fact? Yeah, do you know about B facts? Well, Wait. in order to kill larger... Parasites that enter the uh, the hive, uh, honeybee will join forces with its brethren and start vibrating quickly. This will cause the other animal to basically cook alive. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. That's crazy, yeah. actually. Well, there you go. That's a fact. She'll remember that one pretty well, actually. Wait a minute, this doesn't help us. Well, hey, cool. Don't don't distract us. Okay, so. Um... <laughs> well, Soul is just cooking. rubbing their temples. Petravian has gone over to one of the uh, towers where one of the bells are um, and just like looking up at it and kind of tapping the, the, the pole with his hammer. Hmm. It's ringing and sounds beautiful. Maybe it's like a trick where we have to sing to them again, like I did with the tree last year. What, what if we were to ring all the bells at once in unison? Um, I guess we could. Yeah, how nice. do we get enough yeah. people to do that at once? How many bells are there? They're on almost every corner of every building in the town. There's lots of them. I've got an idea. All right, I gotta, I gotta look real quick. Actually, Farah would be even more suited for this. How, how much weight can a bee lift, Bella? So much weight. At least I mean, five could they, like, could they sing the bee playing a bed? A large bee. How, how large do your bees get? Hmm, let's see. <laughs> I guess that depends on... <laughs> I guess it depends on the, the type of magic I'm using. Because technically, 
Uh, typically, Summon Swarm makes like these giant bees, but mine make the diminutive, tiny, whatever bees. Diminutive bees? But, so, Vera does not make large bees, typically. Mm-hmm. I can only have like three or four birds at a time, so it's not really going to help us. Fossa will interject. Well, I suppose he wouldn't really need the bells if Nicholas wasn't around, but <laughs> when does he come? No one could possibly defeat him. When does he come to town? Well, he he always attempts on Christmas night. Well, uh, Christmas Eve night, which is well, it's tonight. <sighs> Wait a minute! Did you summon us here? What? Like why are well, we I think here? It's the, the magic of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what's going on. Are we getting paid for all these? Well, you, you're being paid in... In the Christmas cheer. You're being cheer. paid in Christmas... Exactly! I like this one. This one's funny. In the Christmas cheer that everyone gets. Cool, great. Hmm. I like cool. So, um, I guess he's come up with a plan on how to take this guy down. What happened last time? Because I keep on being told that a bunch of stuff happened here, but all I remember is a big fucking tree... Yeah. That almost killed yeah. Archie. Oh, oh, there were snowmen that attacked us? A shyster sold the tree to the town that ended up in the middle of the inn, but it turns out the actual root of the warding trees was the one in the center of the town. It's a really big one. Is it still here? Mm-hmm. It's still there. It's covered in beautiful decoration. It was the one that, that Lobby was putting a star on top of. Lobby waves from the top of the tree still. <laughs> just for some reason still there. So just like roosting up there looking like an angel. A fiery red... Angel. Fiery red angel. <laughs> we could sing around that again, maybe, or we could sing to the bells. I, I don't know. The last solution was singing and beating up a giant tree. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm better at one of those than the other. And it, it's actually not singing. <laughs> I, I don't know. Are there any ideas? Well, how does Nikolaus normally try to attack mm. Fonzie? Yes. Well, uh, he either comes to the village himself when he could, or he would send his minions if he couldn't. We've gotten better in the last few years. We've been able to keep him out so he can only send his minions. And Well, that can become dark and scary sometimes, but it seems like we've got things under control now. Well, when he shows up, what does he do? Like, what kind of things does he do? Is he capable of? He does have a, a number of strange minions, these twisted creatures that construct his... His toys for him. Do they but, bleed? Yeah. Well, I suppose they do. Do they look like Levette? Well, that's maybe a little. Uh, what? That's sort of rude, though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like, I was just asking. Are you saying I look like a goblin? I assume no. these are goblins. I said you look little. Well, yeah, they sound like goblins to me. I just want so much. Yes, I suppose they're about the size of your friend here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So, okay. so are they gnomes or are they children? Yeah, yeah. Are they children? Mm, I don't think so. Copyouts? Mimics? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that would be possible, right? Mm-hmm. Possibly. Have you ever seen one, actually? I've heard stories. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to be prepared for tonight, then. So are we taking the bells down to defeat him? Not yet. Mm-hmm. But if we're not out by tomorrow, I swear on the gods, mm-hmm. we'll find a way out somehow. Okay. Well. And if you're in such a rush to confront Nikolaus, he, he does live in a cave north of town. Oh, he can right get out of town? He shrugs. Well, of course, you can always get out of town. <laughs> get so out confused. of town. So if we don't take the road and we go north to his cave, that would work? Bosley shrugs. You're, you're such good help. I am so glad we know you. <laughs> I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. Wait, I guess before we do this, actually, there's one little custom thing I kind of want to do. Certainly, like music playing, like uh, dancey music. There's, I mean, Yoculus is leading a choir. Oh, right. not that's not dancey music. It's Christmas. Like, we they don't even... have dancey music. We haven't. Even... Sure, they do. Rock and roll. Sometimes. Eh. I like how we haven't even <laughs> talked to <laughs> Yoculus with Bobby. Just bypassing that. Yeah, it's your job. <laughs> That was Soul's job. <laughs> yeah, and I reported what she said, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm letting you guys interact if you want. I don't, I don't need to have Soul talking to people. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying, I understand. I'm, I'm, it's for you guys more than me. 
I, I know what I know, yes. I just forget what, it. What kind of music did you have in mind? Like, I just we... suddenly used my fucking dance for. I thought you got rid of that. <laughs> yeah, I thought you got rid of that. I have, well, I'm going, I, I haven't because it's, I mean, it's on the sheet right now. I was like, you know what, this is not canon. Why don't I just roll it? Well, we'll find an excuse yeah, to actually roll it. Yeah, you can dance to the caroling songs. No, I'm, I'm good. So what, are we just going to go to the cave? Petravi, are you done crying over your hot chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> There is a gem for you guys. I think he's yeah, right? dead. Absolute peach. <laughs> you doing okay, Scary? Oh, I'm doing fine. Just what? just sitting here going, You're telling me that there's hordes of little goblin creatures. One big guy up in a cave. You hate small, right? That, that's your phrase? <laughs> small, yes, but not a fun kind of small. These are... He does hate small. Okay, I'm glad you got it this time, Burr. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Just imagine that they're like calm and just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we talking like boot sized or are we talking hammer sized here? Because I'm I'm yeah, game I mean, for both. You seem to yeah. You did seem game for both. If you're back game there. for both, why are you asking? Well, I mean, I need to know if I need to bring extra extra cloths to clean my oh. shoes. Oh, Mister Hoity Toity here. I thought I was the noble in the group. Jeez. Well, you don't want to show up to a Christmas party f- with. Goblin We're guts all over your feet. No, it'll wash off. Also, I don't want to go to a Christmas party at all. Yeah, same. Well, I do. I see he's been indoctrinated. <laughs> it must be a cult, Vera. I've heard about these before. I've never seen one before, though. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> Wait, we s- what about Wallen? Who? Wallen? Warren. Uh, he's yes. just a vampire. Yeah, vampires are just vampires. Oh, they were cultists in there, and we killed them. Well, the Order of the Circle, I guess, was a cult. Or weren't they yeah. also all vampires? Uh, not all so. of them. There were ghouls, remember? Yes, there were ghouls, but then there ghouls. was, like, other mm-hmm. vampire spawn there. Oh, yeah. D- Dampiers, I think they're called? Yeah, something like that, I'm sure. I don't know why they're so wet, though. What? No. <laughs> they're damp. <laughs> <laughs> it must be a <sighs> transformation thing. Petra, are you ready, or is there something you need to do here for the <clears throat> Christmas spirit? <laughs> so don't, not you too, please. <laughs> are you singing with Yoculus? Yeah, they're they're humming. We're too far away from Yoculus to fully sing along. Well, that's got like an annoyed look on her face, but she is like bobbing along to it a little bit. The soul doesn't know the words yet, so they're <laughs> they're just singing hmm. the parts that they can like predict. <laughs> and they just hum the rest. Oh my god. My eyebrow is raised towards Petravia. Christmas this, this year. year. Oh, you know it? Yes. You've been apparently. very quiet and Vera keeps asking you if we're ready to go. Are you okay, bro? <laughs> apparently I do know this. I've never heard yeah. that song in my life. Oh, okay. apparently I'm not fucking here, so, <laughs> <laughs> so Vera's gonna start walking. <laughs> you didn't even hear me when I asked what? a question about you. It's weird. Hmm, what? Oh, hey, Vera, when'd you get here? We can kill him later. Vera's walking. Okay. <laughs> like, unless you say you need to do something. <laughs> nah, Soul's just gonna follow you. Yeah, Petraven. Petraven's gotta put his uh, fingers together and whistle for Chisel. How tall is the snow here, by the way? Oh, in town it's not that bad. It's mostly been cleared out. Uh, the snow's only a few inches deep in most places. Awesome. Uh, on the outskirts of town, it's quite deeper. Uh, and that's where the kids are playing and having a snowball fight. Gotcha. Also, I do not have sleeves. I'm still short, like, sleeveless. <laughs> I know, same here. I'm like, Freezing that's what Levette's really fucking cold out here. Freezing your shoulders off. something about that hot cocoa really kind of warmed you to your core. Oh, yeah, but I'm also, you say? I also have endurance, so... <laughs> mm, I was going to say, it's almost like someone's cast endure elements on you. <gasps> Plus, I mean, when Vera's outside, there's just steam coming off her arms anyway. The The, the snow, like... Pizzles. Because she's so angry all the time. Did you say it warmed us so to the angst. cockles of our heart? Okay, oh, that's right. good. Oh, where's the cave? North. Thanks. Alright, let's go fuck up these caves. Come on, LT. Chisel. Right. right. Chisel bursts from a snowbank and trots over next to you. boy. You're at yeah, home in this stuff, snort. aren't you? Snort. <laughs> a lot oh, less you. talkative than your skunk squirrel. Right? Skunk Squirrel. 
I never had a skunk squirrel. I had a skunk once. Why are you talking to no one, Petrie? Why did you have a skunk? <laughs> I was talking to Chisel. God. What? Why did you Chisel tell Chisel you had a skunk? Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> Must be that Christmas cheer. Oh, shit. It's Christmas cheer. It's infecting our brains. It is a cult. Oh, no. Don't be chill. No, everyone. Stop being chill for it. Don't be chill. Don't be chill. It, it, I would say it, it affects the more feebly minded at first. So, I mean, you guys have some time. I think Vera would outlast all of us. <laughs> She's already got a cult, so it's fine. Exactly. Mm-hmm. She, what? Th- they're good. They're good. What? <laughs> what did I say? All right. We should go get Kelly and Bella before we go in now. Ah, uh, that's true. Okay, we'll stop at the cart first, and then we'll go north to the cave. Petraving okay. walks over to the door. <laughs> you go to the carriage, you open the door, and inside there is no one. Ooh. It seems they're not here. Well, they're dead. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> the cult got to them, probably. Yeah! Santa Claus! I mean, what was it? Hey, Barnaby! Crick. <laughs> hey, Barnaby! It's Bosley. Bosley. Hello. Bosley, that's right. Um, <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were doing that on purpose. <laughs> I thought you were doing that for me. <laughs> Where's our friends? This poor guy. <laughs> no, fuck him. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. What do you mean? Your friends are all around you. Uh, see? Christmas. Fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, I've, I think I figured it out. Uh, Bosley is secretly ish. No, Bosley, Bosley no. Is, is what's his name? Ish is more intelligent than this rock that we're talking to. No, Bosley He's playing is, with us. He's Bo- fucking with us. Bosley okay. is that guy from, is the, is the shopkeeper that, uh, that, ben, uh, that Kenny hates. Uh, that Soul hates. Um, it's not a shopkeeper. He's a librarian. It's librarian. Yeah. Dead yeah. Dead yeah. <laughs> really? It's Detlev. I'm telling you, it's Detlev. It is. It is Detlev. It's that's the name of the episode. That's his name, not this guy though. This is Bosley. <laughs> this is Detlev. All you. right. Anyway. All right. Listen, Bowden. So, what we're going to be <laughs> doing God. is we're going to go to the cave, and while we're gone, could you please try to find a way to get us out of here if we don't just disappear from the graciousness of Christmas's past? I think it's Christmas's cheer. Whatever Who's Bowden? The ghost. That guy. The, the wizard. Oh, he's it's an innkeeper. Oh, and I thought that he was Bowden, pointing to Petra. <laughs> oh no, he's not too Petra Chavion. I call him Petri. That doesn't sound yeah. like Bowden at all. Oh, you're right. That doesn't sound like Bowden at all. We gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh boy, this Christmas chill thing. Okay, look, buddy, we've got a couple of friends that were on the cart. Uh. Mm-hmm. Both of them, they look pretty similar. They both are wearing all black. They both got, like, thick black no one wears makeup all on black around here. I thought they were having sex. I mean, all they are wearing nothing. Uh, they both have white hair. Um, so, probably stand out. Also, oh, they're like, par- apparently like wearing all black. Claws. Of course. <clears throat> oh, no. But, I'm not doing this! But wearing all... Hmm. This is a lost cause. Let's just go to the cave. Seriously, why do we keep talking to this guy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, unless they're char, they're just so charming. Okay, yeah, let's get going. It's getting well. So let's go, go, go. Come on, Nazi. Okay, we move. <laughs> All right. So you guys gather your things and head north out of Christmas Town. Petravian mounts chisel. Gross. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, buddy. <laughs> This is a Christmas special, bro. You can't yeah. be doing that sort of stuff. This is family entertainment. <laughs> now on family you... show. Now on Valentine's Day. Yeah, on Valentine's Day, that's when shit gets real. That's when, well, no, Valentine's Day is when the when the violence happens. Don't you mean Estrella Day? Oh, God. I'd right. like everyone to make a perception check. You got okay. it. Okay. Minus 26 for Soul. Vera has a 32. Nice. 18 for Archibald and 12 for the lad. That's for... Let's see. That is 14 for Chisel. That is 22 for Petravian. Excellent. Okay. So everyone who got above a 20. So Petravian, Vera, uh, Soul. You three are able to hear a voice in the distance. Ho! 
Oh, oh. Do you hear what I hear? No, Petravian. <laughs> we don't. Oh, I heard I something. I don't. Uh, yeah, it's the, what the green the bells. I don't hear it. What are you talking about? It can't be good, whatever that is. Alright. You're doing a good job with the fighting off the chill, fella. You hear sleigh bells in the snow. Ahead. Is that those stupid silver bells again? I thought we got away from those things. Sleigh bells ring. Vera, are you listening? Jesus Christ, I'm gonna punt you into the next fucking generation. The minute I get stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Just push through a wall or something. Yeah, I'll just slap them. It's like mm-hmm, death. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bet you get a real nasty boo-boo on that one. Mm-hmm. Right here on your face or something. I mean, that's that's not likely to happen, but I will. I mean, I hit them pretty hard and it didn't leave a mouth, so I'm not sure. I don't know that you can't hear it. It's hard. <laughs> hey, Lavette. Yeah? You think maybe if you flew up, you'd see what's going on? Mm. I thought you. Let's go. All right. You take off and scout the area a little bit, and you're able to see up ahead, you see a sleigh, painted red, sitting in the snow, with some reindeer milling about it. Oh, there appears well to be a large, fat man sitting in the sleigh, going through some sort of sack. In comparison to Petravians, how big is this? sack? <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. Yes! So, in comparison to Petravian's sack, Which- this sack is like the Cadillac of sacks. Wow. Petravian sack looks sad in comparison. It's a sad sack <laughs> oh, shit. next to this sack. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, it's cold out, so of course it looks sad. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. Also, it's always cold outside. Okay, so uh, I'm instituting a new rule. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Every time someone is able to organically, without without forcing it too hard, drop a Christmas song title, mm-hmm. like like Scree has been successfully pulling off, yes! and like you just did, uh, have a piece of candy. Oh, cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I would like a countermeasure of, I'm glad that Kenny is going to visit you next weekend so they can stab you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm smart. <laughs> so- oh, uh, come back down. Uh, so they get more more boys like teaser, and uh, it looks like there's a yeah sleigh parked out there. Somebody's going through a bunch of stuff. Someone's slaying up there. I think that he's getting anemic, ready to attack. He's getting anemic. Oh, that's a not mimic. healthy. Good. Oh, no, anemic. Yeah, that's true. Should we strike now. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, so let's <laughs> so, just so do where, whatever. Where did <laughs> whatever go? So where did Lovett see this fat man? Further to the Ooh. north. All right. So Vera's going to direction. lead uh, in moving forward, trudging through the snow. So we'll follow next to her. Actually, so how is the snow here now that we're no longer inside the city? Or it village? is in deeper in some places, shallower in others. Um, as indicated on the map, there's kind of more gray areas where the snow is going to be shallower. Okay. Whereas in the, the more white areas, it's, it's going to be deeper. So you can treat some of these... Uh, so the deepest parts and where the trees are as difficult terrain. Um, is Petravian since he's ma- since he's uh, riding chisel, is that uh, negated? Yeah, yeah. And so and it's also negated for Archie. Aren't you nice. just going to your boon form, Vera? Oh, we don't know how long we're going to have to be holding out in this oh, village. I thought it lasted the whole day. Oh, most of the day. Well, if it lasts most of the day, it's probably fine. Actually, it's a good idea. I'm going to. I'm gonna. Bust out a uh, mage armor, actually, now that you mention it. Pop that on myself. Alright. I wish I could. I have my little deployable armor. Uh, Alright. that, there it is. Alright, fine. And Vera's skin will tighten and burst into a chitinous uh, armor. Wings will form on her back. Nice. Alright. You have now assumed boon form. So Vera's starting going forward. Alrighty. Like, Who's falling behind? Uh, Soul's gonna be right next to you. Uh, Petravian and On Chisel right behind you. Excellent. Alright, so the group moves north across the snowy field, dotted with snow-covered trees. And as you do, you will eventually uh, get line of sight on a sleigh up ahead. It has four large reindeer milling around it, and there is a fat man digging through a large sack in the sleigh. He's wearing... Like a red coat 
red pants trimmed with white fur. Is him as the mimic guy? Oh, oh, oh. He looks happy. <clears throat> That's what they get ya. I mean, maybe he's happy killing people. Look, no. yeah. I've dealt with... He's happy because he's got a fed mimic. I've dealt with a greater mimic before. It's a high mm-hmm. possibility that he could be, but I'd imagine he'd be a bit more gooey. What, do you want to strike up a conversation? Dude, I'm not doing it again. It was bad when I thought, like, when the girl mimic happened, it was a bad time, okay? No. Well, should we get his attention? Okay, I can if you want. I, I looked at everyone else. I think so, you should do it, yeah. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Nikolaus? Nico? <laughs> Nico? Hey, Nico! He he sets the sack down and looks looks toward everyone. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm not Nikolaus. Well, who are you? The name's Sinterklaus. Uh, so your name's Sin? Sinterklaus. Wasn't that the name Sinterklaus? of the shyster? Hmm. A yeah. shyster? Why? There was a I'm shyster a... that sold the people a bad tree, like. Last year? Was it a year ago? I don't even understand how that works. A I couple months know. ago? Oh, oh, oh. Last I, time you were here. I'm no shyster. I'm just a person trying to make their way in the world. That's kind of what the shyster would say. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs> what brings you all here? To this snow-covered field? We're trying to get out of this orb. Whatever this is. Yeah. It's or like globey thingy. Yes, the dome. Do you know about the glass ceiling? <laughs> <laughs> I know that if you keep trying, eventually you'll get that job. No, it's not how it works. You can't break through it. It's impenetrable. I thought if acknowledging tried. the glass ceiling just perpetuated its existence. Oh, shit. Hmm. <laughs> Are you the one who told me to hit it? I wanted hmm. to see if you could break it. Oh, I, th- I, w- I can't. I tried. Out you can Oh. And when Good you hit try. it, I hear it hits. I, I hear when you hit it, it starts to hit back ten yeah. times as hard. I fi- no, it didn't do anything like that. Just didn't do anything. Hmm. Well, so Nikolaus, well, he's a scary, scary beast. Lives further to the north in these caves. Oh. Why are you trying to find Nikolaus? Oh, we're trying to kill him. Ho, ho, ho! Kill him? Yeah. Yeah. Why? That would be quite rude. Why? Okay. Well, we wouldn't want to have too much violence. It is Christmas, after all. Christmas Eve. But it's Christmas. So we're told. They have an exp- it's a thing that happens about three times a year, it's seeming like. Hmm. I see. Why don't you want us to kill them? Mm. Well, mostly because yeah, so he pays he's... really well. Oh, he's your boss. Oh, oh, oh. So how about you turn back around and... Go back to Christmas Town, where you belong. How about you shut the <laughs> fuck up and die, bitch? Oh, <laughs> he stands up from his sleigh, cheeks all rosy, and he lays a finger to, beside his nose. He laughs, rises into the air, and turns to mist. The four reindeer that were around the sleigh all turn toward you and look quite angry. <laughs> oh, shit. Everybody, we better watch out. Roll initiative. Oh, Just, quick question. You better not cry about this, okay? But oh, it's going to be super embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So these dire reindeer are going to take up a defensive stance around the sleigh. So, Sol, you have initiative. All right. Uh, using my bardic performance, I strum on my lyre, and everyone gets inspired with courage. They also mm. get a yummy, yummy discordant noise, I believe, for your rolls, too. Mm-hmm. And, hmm, should I use haste now, or should I hold off until we fight Nikolaus? I uh, definitely mm-hmm. want to fight Nikolaus, otherwise we'll be fatigued. Uh, I don't know how many spells I have for third level, because it's not, wait, I'll use it, it's ten rounds. Nice. <clears throat> so, I cast haste on everyone. And how many casts do you get for that? Five. Five. And I have some casts of that as well now. Do you have any spice for your haste? I don't remember if there was before. So, usually with souls uh, spells, a lot of them have feather imagery, so pretty much suddenly you, you look down in the snow and there's little feather imprints in there, and it looks like they're raising out of the snow, and suddenly they kind of whoosh into the air above you, and you feel this energy in you that you didn't have before. 
Right. The feathers just kind of disappear in the air. Each nice. one a different color for each of you. Oh, that's awesome. All right, you guys now been all affected by haste. All right, Vera, go fuck him up. Oh, okay then. Uh, one of the dire reindeer is going to move up and look threatening at the party. But it appears they lack any kind of ranged attack, so they're going to hold for a little bit. Chisel. I'd like to delay okay. Chisel till just after Levette. Vera, what would you like to do? All right, so Vera is going to drop a swarm down, first of all. If you want a feckin' familiar, that is. Cool, cool. Nice. And then I believe that is a standard action. Okay. I'm just going to have it be a template for now. So after that, Vera is going to fly over the snow in front of Sol that, so that Vera can take any blows that are coming towards them. Okay. And how high in the air do you want to be? I'm just above the snow. Okay. It's five feet. All right. In front of me. Cool. Cool. All righty. So another one of the dire reindeer is going to move up and take a defensive posture. Move and up in what direction? Uh, the dire reindeer is going to move to the southwest, to the other side of the sleigh. Thank you. Not quite well. All right. Archie. Eat him. Archie's going to actually delay his turn until right after Levette. <clears throat> All right. Because it's better for her to go first. Uh, so for Levette's turn. Yes. Levette. Yes. I am going to uh, pull out a... a Upgrade vial and stick it into the slot on Archie's leg, cast evolution, Greater Evolution Surge, and give him the double arms, the extra pair of arms with fists on them. Okay. Right. And I don't think I will need to do anything to my sheet for that, I just will roll yeah, his just, attack again. Just roll the attack twice, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, after I've cast that, I'm going to just move ahead uh, 20 feet, so I'll go up next to Vera, run up to her side, and that'll be my turn. Excellent. And I'm still up because now it's Archie again. Well, I'm actually going to just move him. I don't, I don't want him to... I don't know if this is where I want it to be. Yes, right next to Levette. So that he stays within uh, range for shield ally. Alright. And he will uh, hold his action. Uh, if a reindeer come, A dire reindeer... <laughs> so something a reindeer that's not chisel comes nearby, he's going to start defending himself. Nice. Alright, it'll be our turn. Chisel. Chisel is going to move him and Petra to the north west, to the northeast. Ooh, and he can only move fifty feet. Oh wait, we're hasted now, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. oh boy, he can get eighty currently. Yeah. He can move right up in there. <laughs> if you do that, you're going to be uh, alone because that's why I didn't do that with Archie. I. Th uh, mm. It's your call. Just telling you. That's why I didn't do that with Archie. I think he, he uh, Chisel and Petra can take a dire reindeer. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for it anyway. I'll go for it. All right. And that's a hoof hoof. That's a, a hoof right to the face. Hooves. Single attack. That is a nat 20. Well, it's a nat okay. 20. Uh, yes. That's going to confirm critical. There Our we go. Roller. <laughs> hey, All right. Found... First thing that happens is Chisel rushes up and attacks with hooves. Deals 26 points of damage. Right. Is Chisel taking this personally? He doesn't like, like other... No other deer in this game. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chisel's not happy with that at all. And that dire reindeer looks awfully fucked up because of it, too. Dude, his, it's just his territorial instincts kick in. He sees other reindeer and he just flips out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that? The fuck hey, you want, mate? That... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, shit. Uh, and he only gets that one attack during uh, with that, or does he also get the the gore as well? Just one, one attack. Okay. Yeah, just one attack. Cool. Uh, Petra's up. He will cast Detect Evil on these guys for his move. Or actually, since he's right there, why does he just do a full attack on them? <laughs> <laughs> why doesn't he full attack? I think that might be the better better option. Uh, Petravian, go go full attack on these guys. See what happens. Yeah, nice. I think you actually made the right call. Probably should have moved Archie up there with 24, you. 24, 21, 23. Uh, all of those are going to hit. So you deal 16, 15, and 13 damage. And that dire reindeer is going down. Would you like to put some spice on that dice for your charge in? I would, as a matter of fact. A chisel coming around the corner, seeing these posers, flies into a sort of rage and gallops, bounding over Archie and, and the crew, and taking both hooves straight to the face of the of the reindeer. Petra, kind of barely holding on, takes his hammer as soon as Chisel was done and just 
lands it square on the top of the head of the reindeer, knocking it straight into the ground with a with a sickening crack. You you give the reindeer a red nose. Beautiful. <laughs> and skull. <laughs> And have, a, and everything. have a piece of candy. Yeah. Yay! So that is the end of Petravian's turn. Uh, the final dire reindeer is up and is going to move to another defensive posture here, just to the southwest. So the three remaining dire reindeer are forming a line. All right, round two. The dire reindeer, one of them is up and is going to move around in a flanking maneuver and is going to attack Chisel. It's going to move in and try to take a bite out of Chisel. Ooh. And as you get closer. Uh, as these creatures get closer, you realize that they have sort of unnatural-looking mouths that are teethed with, with predatory-looking like, sharp teeth rather than the Ooh, flat the ones you would expected. Uh, anyway, it is actually going to uh, critically hit as well. Oh, shit! Oh, okay! Bring it! So oh, it wow. comes up and it takes a bite out of chisel. Uh, it deals 19 points of damage. Isn't nature fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. They're getting into a fight. <laughs> yeah, this is like a National Geographic when it gets too graphic. Mm-hmm. And you're like, in li- ba, ba, not, ba, ba. not Geo, and you're like, oh my gosh. Uh, well, I guess that's just how it is. Oh, they're showing the whole thing. Oh, it's dying. The elk finds itself cornered by the pack of reindeer. But yeah, <laughs> exactly. Ba, 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 and then ba, cute 30 minute clip of the elk slowly being killed and screaming, and then <laughs> Tiddly finally pitches in and says, It is a slow, painful death. <laughs> Okay, I get it with Melly. I get it. What the fuck, bro? Chisels. This wasn't, this wasn't about Chisel. Okay. You're taking it personally. Sure. This isn't about you. <laughs> <laughs> nice callback, bro. Ah, that was good. That was good. Great. So for my turn, I'm gonna run up 45 feet to the east because I just saw uh, Chisel get crunched on his haunch by this mm-hmm, mm-hmm. weird zombie dire reindeer thing. So I'm gonna run over there and I'm gonna whip out Symphonia's wit and throw it at the reindeer. We'll see how it goes. Uh, uh, I'm gonna... See, that's a 32 to hit. Hell yeah. Alright, 32 hits and you deal 16 points of damage. Okay, nice. cool. Also, my attack does not have a full attack on. And that is my turn, because that's all I can do right now. Get him, Vera. Okay, the Dire Reindeer takes three more damage from the Sonic, and I believe that finishes Soul's turn. Mm-hmm. All right, Vera, you're up. So Vera's going to fly forward. She's going to go through the trees and about, how many is it? 20 feet. Mm-hmm. And is going to push out her hand, and a blue line forms between the two Dire Reindeer in the back, along the like, cliff kind of ridge, and a cylinder of blue flame engulfs them both Shit. as he casts a flame strike on both of them. Shit. Bam. Alright. That's 44 damage. Alrighty. You did a bunch of damage to the dire reindeers. Alright. Uh, do you have a move action? I already moved. But you already moved. Okay. I am going to cool. send Pummel in to do some damage on those dire reindeer as well then. Okay. That's going to be 46. Other question... Can you roll for those reindeer to see if they're affected by Hummel's poison? I won't need to because those reindeer are both dead. Ah! Oh, dang. Hey! Dang. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's going to take us to Levette. All right. I'm going to cast Bull Strength on Archie. Uh, I don't know if he has a buff for that made. Doesn't look like it. Do I have to eat okay. two candies? I really don't okay. want to eat two candies. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to eat the candies if you don't want to. <laughs> eat the gonna, candy. I'm not going to force you to eat the candies. <laughs> All right. And uh, how far can I move right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Forty feet. Bang. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hang out next to Soul. That seems like a safe place to be. And they'll end Levette's turn. All right. Archie. Runs up and s- slides next to Soul. <laughs> You're actually under the snow. Uh, and then, is Archibald able to charge this thing? Uh, sure. Um, okay. Then he's gonna thing? do that. Whoops. Sorry, yes. He's gonna, so he's gonna, uh, get going. He's gonna charge up and try to sock a punch into the dire, the remaining dire reindeer who's still standing, because all the others seem to be down. Alrighty. 
Archie bounds forward and delivers a punch. That'll... That is definitely a hit. All right. Yeah, it's a 39 to hit. That was mm-hmm. 20 points of damage. I 20 guess points that's all I can do, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. that dire reindeer is feeling it. Do you get another attack because of haste? No. no. Yeah, it's only for full attacks. Got to gotcha. All right. Chisel. Chisel is going to take a five foot step to the east. All right. Boop. And he's going to full attack. Start with them hooves. Boop. Oh no. That is a nat oh, one. Confirm. <laughs> 24. Doesn't confirm. And go for the gore. All right. Second shot hits. So you hit for 17 damage there. Cool. On the first shot. And what's that gore look like? That is a 19. All right. That's also going to hit. Deal 24 damage. All right. Nope. Not chisel. Whoops. And the dire reindeer is down. Yes. All right. Man, so I completely the last wasted of the... Lot. What? I completely wasted the... Ex- the arms were pointless. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. So the last of the reindeer dropped to the ground. And the snowy field is once again silent. Well, what do you say we make the rest of his reindeer go down in history? <laughs> you think he has more? Well, probably. All right. Let's get moving. Don't want to waste this silent night. <sighs> I mean, it was pretty loud when we were fighting, actually. Yeah, I, I'm going to, my ears are ringing. What, with all the screaming of the reindeer? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and the music. The better music is always kind of part of it. Beardy. Thank you yeah. for that. What do we see? see? Uh, you see the the area stretch on beyond and eventually lead to a cave. And this sleigh. Just a regular oh, sleigh. Oh, sorry, the sleigh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you find a large abandoned sleigh painted red. Make a perception check. That is 9 for Chisel and 18 for Pitsarabian. You don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Okay. That is a 21 for Vera. 34 for Sol. Sol, you notice something strange about this sleigh, and that is that that's not paint. Oh. What is it? There you go. It appears to be kind of, like, tacky when you touch it. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. And the, uh, the sack of goodies... It's not loaded for toys for good girls and boys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's in this? What's in the sack? What's in it? It appears to be skins. <laughs> skins of of children. Mm, uh, I'm just going to say of various people, not necessarily children, but <laughs> thank you. Because that's Clump- that's Krampus's job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Soul? Okay, it's fine. Let's keep going. Don't touch that, please. What? This is a mimic. Okay, sure, well. it's a mimic. Can we keep going? Get it, Archie! Destroy it! Destroy no, it! Touch, 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 touch. I slice open the side of the bag with my scythe. <laughs> oh wait, I can just do it this way. Yeah, and Archie's gonna start punching. Soul's just covering their oh, face. Shit. Oh damn! Is that is he gonna critical hit that sleigh? <laughs> All right. So the best way I can describe it is when Vera slices the bag open, skins ooze out. <laughs> Archie's going for the sleigh itself. Just yeah. smash Archie. The thing. Archie smashes the sleigh into small pieces. And here I was gonna have Chisel give us a ride. Blah. Well, no, we're good. Let's get going. Yes. Let's get this fuck on out. All right. So. I'm motivated. Just kill him. Is this water in the way, or can we just easily go through it? No, you're fine. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's frozen. Right. Onwards and upwards. Don't look at the bag. <laughs> Center Claus. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the group has moved forward, and you have found yourselves in the mouth of a cave. It's cold in here. Colder than you expect it should be. Almost like there's something just tearing the warmth from the air. Somewhere deep in the back of this cave. I have low uh, light vision. Should I be able to see more than just me? Uh, not with low light. Still requires a light source. Okay. So, Do you have a light source on you, Kyle? Uh, we'll find out. We'll... I'm gonna cast light. Okay. I'll have dancing Little lights bit. up too. Oh, okay. So if you have lights or dancing lights on, then I can add that to your. And I have a lamp. So, well, okay. Are you actually like holding the lamp in a hand? Or is because I mean, if you got two people, one casting light, one casting dancing lights, you don't need to carry a lamp. That's... Just flip a little switch on my gauntlet, and it's got like a flashlight. I can just point it around. You're now light sources. It's a beardy. Uh, could you describe this cave at all? Certainly. So you are in an, a cave that is covered in 
frost and ice. All the surfaces in here are, are, you know, covered over with an inch or two of ice. The air in here seems to cut at your lungs. It's, it's a supernatural cold in this place. In the distance, you can hear melodic songs, maybe? Like chanting, maybe, in the distance? <laughs> uh... Do these sound like the songs that they sang in the village? Kinda, yeah. Huh. So we, as a group, we're kind of just inching forward in this cave, I assume. Mm-hmm. Just following this chant? I guess. I guess we'd follow where the noise is coming from. Yeah, so can we do some, like, perception to see if we can tell where, what directionality this is coming from? Yeah, because we just hit a fork in the road. Yeah. Hmm. That's an 11 for Petravian and a 20 for Chisel. That's a 31 for Soul. That's a 32 for Vera. When did you get such good nice. perception? Always get good perception. <laughs> 27 for Archie. <laughs> I got a nat 20 in like the second lowest roll. Nice. That's a 25. Good, good work, guys. It, it seems to be the chant is singing about being Santa's elves. Whatever that means. <laughs> God damn it. You found elves? Um... So, so do we hear a directionality? Yeah. Uh, yeah, to the east. Alright, let's keep heading down this way then, guys, okay? Alrighty. Barry, you go first, because you're the strongest. Alright, as you as you move into this room, you see that it is appears to be a workshop of some sort. Really? Also, you see some figures in the room. They're sitting at benches. Creepy elf. <laughs> <laughs> Please describe see, this monstrosity. What? Yeah, the fuck? you see a group of horrid-looking, deformed creatures. Their mm-hmm. eyes are mismatched sizes. Their teeth seems to buck out of their mouth. Their skin is pockmarked and wrinkled. They wear strange, mocking clothes that look almost like dark imitations of the clothes worn by the people in Christmas Town. And they're building horrid little toys. Strange things that look like... They look like, if you didn't know better, they, you would say that every, everything they were making was either cursed or haunted. But they're making these awful little dolls and children's toys. What are they made of? Wood, you think? Some of them are? Some of them this are Some cloth. Nightmare Before I'm Christmas sure. shit. Yeah, you're not 100% sure what the rest of them are made of, but they're, they're all singing a horrible tune with each other. Horrible as in it induces horror, or horrible as in they're not the best of singers? I would say both, to a certain degree. Thanks. Awful. I love it. But they see you all, and they're not too happy for the intrusion. That's okay, I'm not happy. One of them says, ah, kill the interlopers. (laughs) Uh, By the way, how long did it take us to get here? A couple minutes. So Hummel is still out then? Sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, and then Archie still has four arms. Dang. Yeah. That's... Oof. Okay. Hey. Hey. Jeez. Oh. Never mind. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Jesus, those Bad. motherfuckers. Wow, they got the... the... Wow, that's what, quite a roll from Soul. Dang. Yeah, I think this is the worst I've ever done for initiative. I'm right on the bottom of I think six. that might actually be your minimum uh, roll. Uh, wow. I think, yeah, I think you rolled a one. Uh, no, you rolled a two. Ah. Uh, oh. Yep. Yum. I mean, <laughs> so happy. Uh, Merry Christmas. It's gotta happen sometime. This is the first time you rolled as low as a two. It's crazy. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if I. Uh, this is like the first time I rolled higher than a four. <laughs> okay, so the first of the creepy elves is going to charge forward at Vera, and at the like, as it's running, it's going to pull out a scythe oh, and swing it at Vera. Really? Oh God. Yeah. These are apparently scythe warriors. How big so, are these guys? Uh, let's see. Are these tiny scythes? I believe they're medium size. Let's see. Okay, they are small, but they're wielding, they're wielding medium sized scythes. Oof. <laughs> so they're wielding oversized weapons. Anyway, it's uh, it's going to move up to you and attack. It is, however, going to miss. Come on, Aves, all these. Do they have reach with their scythes? Uh, no, I I was very confused. I was like, how does a fair get reach? <laughs> yeah, I was about to. Creepy elf, oh creepy elf, please do not kill us. Oh creepy elf, oh creepy elf, your teeth look like... Oh god. Can you describe what the elves are doing, by the way? Yeah, absolutely. Let me just check a thing here. 
Flat footed AC for Vera is 22. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, so the second creepy elf is going to rush up and also swing a scythe. This one is going to strike Vera for 13 points of damage. All right, next creepy elf is up, and it is going to move up, and it is going to start dancing a Christmas jig in the middle of the room. The next creepy elf is going to move up and continue dancing that same jig. Petra, you're up. Oh, boy. Petra's going to take a five-foot step down to the southeast. Mm -hmm. And full attack the creepy-ass elf that's standing right in front of him. Okay. Alrighty. Full attack and a single attack. Okay. So of those, you hit on all but the third one. So it's 19 damage, 15 damage, and 21 damage. Although I I hate to be able to say it. Is haste still going? Or are we fatigued at the moment? Oh, you would probably be fatigued at the moment. How long does haste go for? One round per level. One round per level, yeah. yeah, Ten minutes? (laughs) <laughs> no, no, around for level. So, so that'd be like... Oh, minute. around, yeah, ooh, minute. Yeah. Yeah. Oof, oof, that's a big oof. Uh, okay. okay. Don't worry, I got this. Alright, next creepy elf is up, and it's going to go to the center of the room and continue dancing a creepy jig. Alright, Vera, you're up. Alrighty. So, first of all, Hummel's going to go in and is going to hit the three elves that are in the middle of the room that are dancing their stupid jig. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. just going to berate these guys. So they're like, ah, and then, ah! <laughs> just being stung the shit out of them. Uh, and it's going to be 3d6, I believe, correct? Because I do not believe there's a the sonic performance going on at the moment, right? Uh, yeah, you're, you're right about that. All right. So that is going to be 16 damage to those three elves. Okay. And would they, could they roll for if they're poisoned? Yeah. What's the DC? All right, so the DC is so it's going to be twenty, I believe. Okay. All righty. Uh, one of them fails. Uh, what's the poison effect? Uh, they are nauseated. While that's happening, while the, while Hummel is berating these three elves, Vera's going to activate her own sight, just kind of look at this elf judgingly, and just try to strike it in half. All right, that is a thirty-two and a twenty-five to hit. So you blast in there, and you deal 14 damage and 12. And what is Mellifera's Sting is just a standard steel weapon? It is a silver and magical weapon. Lovely. All right, you slash the creepy elf, and that is your turn. All right, creepy elves are up. This one's going to move in and complete the dance. Uh Uh-oh. That's fine. These things aren't that tough. They'll die quickly. All right, Archie, you're up. Yeah, to that extent, I was thinking of, but oh man, they, they're in such good formation for template stuff, but I want to save that goodness for campaign too. So, I'm going to, uh, oh, uh, Kenny, do you want to take care of haste or you want me to take care of it? Uh, I was, I was planning on it because my move action is going to be the greater stuff, so do whatever you need to do to buff up That sounds good. Alright, um, then I'm going to... And I'll just have him attack, and I'll uh, buff him on my turn. Whatever, I'll keep the order going. Uh, so yeah, he can reach this guy in front of Petravian right now. Nice. So he gonna do that, and uh, I'm going to make it a power attack this time. Just making sure it's all set up correctly. Full attack. Nice. And then the second power attack. So that is a 27, 19, and 21, and a 20. All right, uh, all attacks are gonna hit. Oof. Wow. All right, it's 29 damage, 30 damage, 24, 25. Okay, I'm going to apply some damages here and just see how fucked this guy is. Splorch, I, uh, splorch, I do believe, is the uh, correct term. Okay, yep, so it was already pretty badly hurt anyway, and that mm-hmm. is enough to take it to negative 27. Wow. It is very he just dead. reaches over Petravian's shoulders with his extra arms, grabs the, this thing's shoulders, and then with one of his uh, main arms, grabs its head and just pulls it off. Oof. Good thing he better has that shield to, to guard against the, all the shower of blood. I mean, he doesn't pull it off really quickly and violently. It's more like, uh, like when you're pulling apart like a chicken or a turkey. Oh, God. Okay. Shit, son. <laughs> it's, 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 he's not trying to be, like grotesque about it but he's just being very methodical and machine like just remove head thing is dead remove head go on to the next dead. one i like that perfect yeah all right a little bit all right i am gonna cast a major not magic fang on archibald you've 
all heard of Elf on a Shelf, but have you seen Dead with No Head? Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right, and uh, so he, his blades come out of his arms, and then I'm going to move over and close the... Oh, I've got the wrong tool on. Uh, move this way and close the gap next to Soul. Uh, Chisel is going to move to all around and through the entire group to try to mm-hmm. get over these over the southernmost of the elf to Vera's southeast, but he's going to acrobatics over that one to get to the creepy ass elf south that is to Vera's southeast. I need to roll. Right. Give me an acrobatics check, please. You got it. These, uh, twenty. That is not enough. One moment. It's going to strike at you with a scythe. Oof. Rats. So is this one. All right. And those are two hits. Chisel takes 16 Dang. damage and 15 damage. Woo! Those two attacks. And that is Chisel's turn. But Chisel's not providing flanking, so that's nice. Yeah. All right. Soul, you're up. All right. So I am going to cast Haste on everyone. All right. Go ahead and activate Haste and uncheck Fatigue. Everyone. Yes. Everyone. Haste. Thank you. Cool, cool. So once again, these visages of feathers mm-hmm. just kind of envelop around this area. So yeah, yeah. There, there's like little impressions in the ground that are feather-like, and they like lift. They lift off the ground, peeling away into just real-looking feathers, and they boosh up into the air around you in colorful twirls until they disappear into the air. And you feel reinvigorated from the tiredness that you just felt. I am also, I am also going to do my bardic performance to cat to do um, inspire courage on everyone. All right. So activate inspire courage. I see some of you've already turned it on. So just everybody else get it on there as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't help but imagine the the feathers making a very JRPG upgrade no or power up noise. Just with that description, it sounds like, so much like that stuff. It's great. It's like bree. So it says like plus haste over everyone's head. Sound like the phoenix on the... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So round two, creepy elf attacks, tries to hit Vera and misses. This one's down. The next one's all right. So the ones that were dancing in the middle of the room are going to finish their jig and they're going to move in to attack Chisel. Can we misses. describe uh, more about what the attacks are and stuff? Certainly, the they're going to step in and swing their scythes wildly at Chisel to try to in their attempt to chop the elk into bits. It is probably tasty. Uh, yeah, like probably. Like yeah, delicious. It is Soul's favorite food. All right, there's one hit. Comes in and strikes Chisel for 15 points of damage and takes us to Petra's turn. Petra, seeing his buddy getting uh, sliced and dice, takes a five-foot step to the southeast, gives that uh, eyeballs Chisel, thanks him for that flanking, and, and does a full attack on... Elf to his self. All right, and a full attack. That is two nat twenties. Oh 20s. my god! What the How fuck? How the hell does he do this every <laughs> yeah. time? Okay, 31, really 35, 31. <laughs> it's not even Bowden. What? No. It's right. not even fair. So that's <laughs> Jesus Christ. So that is twenty-four damage, seventy-nine damage, and eighty-three damage. I'm- would you like to put some spice on that dice? Would you like to put some fucking... Fucking damn it, can you give me the 20s too? <gasps> okay. Now we know what's in Petra's sack. It's all so, the yeah. 20s. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. the creepy elf has been reduced to negative 70 hit points. Whew. I think it's dead. So, screw you. Yeah. Would you like to put some spice on the multitude of dice that we just got? I would actually love to put some nutmeg spice on that dice. Petravian does a slide up at, uh, next to Vera, uh, gives the thumbs up to Chisel, looks up and down at this creature in front of him, and does the merciful thing, and brings the hammer down on this holly jolly piece of crap. Absolutely obliterating it after three blows to its to its noggin. Improved critical is an excellent feat. Hmm. Alright, well, it's dead. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep, it's did very what, dead. Did what Levette suggested. He combed that bitch. <laughs> not, not a cudgel. Yeah. Not a cudgel. Not a cudgel. Uh, <laughs> Alright, whatever you say. 
right. So Creepy Elf moves up, attempts to scythe at Petra, but the shot is wide. Vera, you're up. All righty. So, first of all, Hummel is going to move into position. So Chisel is currently surrounded on their right side by a by three elves, and Hummel encompasses all three of them. Oh, also, is he nauseated when able to move? Oh, it, he's. I guess he's back here puking, isn't he? Yep. All right, scratch that. All right. Can you re-record, buddy? Yeah, of course. In that case, all right. So this creepy elf is up, and he is going to just sit there and just puke after being like after having bees like flying into his mouth and eyes and shit. <laughs> he's just like vomiting to try to get all the bees out of him. <laughs> all right, that'll I can only imagine this thing there. looking like. A... All right. So Hummel no longer cares about this one that. He's already wrecked, so he's going to go to these three that are surrounding Chisel's right side, and is just going to envelop them in this coating of bees, and I'm going to drop 46. Sweet line piece. Line block. Alright. Oop, not very good. But that's going to be 13 points of damage, and if they could roll to see if they're poisoned with a DC 20 check. Alright, uh, two of them fail. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, boy. I'm a OP, yo. He is now. Now that I'm level 12. Nice. Oh, I love that boy. I love Hummel, too. So the one that is below Petra, the elf that's below Petra is dead, correct? Yeah. All right. So Vera is going to kind of walk to the right, just like s- stepping on this goo that was once a goblin elf thing. Oh, pardon me. Pardon and he's going to take one more step forward. And is going to start attacking the elf that is in front of her. All right. It's going to be just one attack with Mellifera's Sting. Yep. And a nat 20. And that is a crit. Oh, shit. Nice. Welcome to the club. Wait, wait. And, um, That's a scythe crit, though. And yeah, boy. for the audience, uh, that one attack is 80 points of damage. <laughs> Welcome to the club, buddy. <laughs> Your nat 20 is a 40 fucking one. Holy shit. Wait. So, what I think happens here... It, may I put some spice on this dice? You may. Please do. So, while Vera is, like, stepping on this, like, gooified elf, she kicks up the some of the bits into this goblin, and then puts the scythe down and rams it through the elf, just skewering it, and then she just kicks it off of the... just kicks it off the scythe. I like how you kicked your desk, actually. Yeah, I need this. All right. Yeah, I like it. All right, that is a dead ass creepy elf, Archie. Well, I honestly, every round I've been like, I don't know what to do. He's running out of targets. Uh, this continues to be the case. See, yeah, it does continue to be the case. So he can can he he cannot pass by these guys, correct? I mean, he can pass by them and uh, provoke attacks. And provoke? Yeah. Oh well, I'll do that. Sure, I don't give a shit. He's got a decent AC. Yeah, then I will have him run back here. And just sock the fucking uh, sick one. That's 37 to hit. You're just gonna, like, clothesline it while it's puking. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you come in and attack. They, the attack the attack of opportunity from one of them is actually gonna miss. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you come in and you clock it for 34 damage. Nice. Alright. Well, that. Right, it's still me. Um, well, it's also... I don't really need to start burning that many spells, so I'm just gonna... Take a step ahead of soul behind Petravian, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire my crossbow. Alright. At the nausea hey, target. The mall. Yeah, that seems like a good spot. I'm gonna fire the nausea target. Okay. I forgot that I actually have more than one attack. I should have full attack instead of moving. Well, okay. That is a, a 27 hit. to hit. You deal 14 yeah. damage to the creepy elf. Yes. Alrighty. Chisel. Oh boy! Couldn't use that lovely flanking. And he's going to attack the one to his east, but the northernmost one. Plus two for flanking. Yeah, he'll just do a full attack. Boopity. That is a nat 20 and a 21. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah, every attack. Uh, okay, and then you get an additional attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll make your gore attack as well. You got it. And then make, and then choose one of the two to make again because you're hasted. Uh, I'll take another uh, gore, uh, hooves attack. So you I mean, you do know that the gore is mechanically a better attack, oh, right? Oh, okay. Uh, I keep forgetting. Are you, are you aware of that? I keep forgetting that it, it is. Okay. And... Well, like, given the choice, the gore the gore should be your and primary that's a, not 20. attack. And those are secondary. Sure. 
<laughs> sure. I think it's dead. It, it's, it's sure, it's dead. <laughs> For the audience, Drury got another nat 20 on a gore. The luckiest motherfucking ruler I've ever met, I don't understand. So that was 29 damage, 12 damage, 20 damage, and 31 damage. All right, that one's dead too. No spice. No spice. <laughs> ran out of spice. <laughs> Sorry, the, cap- the, the container is there. empty. <laughs> the co- spice container is empty. Soul, you're up. You, you just you just <laughs> like tipped it over and it spilled out in those first two. Yep. And now it's just empty. You ran out of the spice. I, was, I wasted the spice. <laughs> it's all gone. Well, would you consider that line of sight? Yeah, yeah, okay. you have line of sight. Okay, I just absolutely. To make sure. Yeah. So I am going to use Symphonia's wit and okay. hit the elf that is to the north of Archie. It's about okay. like thirty feet away ish. I think I built a second attack, so you should you have did. a full attack on it now. Okay. Thank you so much. That's a nineteen and a twenty to hit. They both hit. Oh really? Yeah, they oh, do. Cool. They both hit. You deal 13 damage and 18 damage, and that elf, that creepy elf, is dead. Hooray! Dead. All right. I wasn't Would you like sure to put some spice you... on that dice? Oh, no, I didn't get a nat you, 20. You, that, that doesn't... You don't have to get a nat 20 to get spice. You just have to get a kill or a crit every so often. Or an interesting cool thing. Or just... Or an interesting cool yeah, thing. Just you know what? Cool, I yeah. think Soul hasn't had a had a critical kill, or a, a, a kill <laughs> in general, in a long time. Yeah. It'll be longer, so, too. Anyways. So, so do you want one? I mean, Soul's going to have the highest kill count of all of us by the, t- by the time they're done, but... You're not wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. So Soul just looks at everyone being awesome and dominating, and they just kind of flip their lyre into the chakram form, and instead of throwing it like a frisbee like they normally do, they, <laughs> they throw it vertically... <laughs> An overhand throw. And for some <laughs> reason, it still ends up hitting the elf. It hits it square in, like, its forehead. Its, its head's kind of chopped in a little split formation. And it just disappears and appears back in their hand with a beautiful ring noise. Oh, I hit it. <laughs> Good job, cool. Cool. Thank you. Imagine that kind of throw where you don't even see it move. It just... <laughs> it's out of your... It's your hand is open and suddenly there's a liar in the goblin's face. And then it's in my hand. Wipe off the blood. I wonder if when the item teleports, I, I imagine it leaves the blood behind. So it's always clean. I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. Alrighty. So that will take us to round three. The blood just drops on the floor. Yep. The last creepy elf is going to start cackling madly and explode. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm. Oh. So let's, uh, let's just do a 20-foot blast. This supports my theory that they are also gnomes. What, gnomes just explode? <laughs> That's a thing you got to do? Well, depends on the kinds of gnomes it's you It's not so it, okay? <laughs> so I can't do it. There's only normal gnomes. We don't want to talk about it with outsiders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's going to explode. Uh, reflex save from Petra, Vera, Chisel, and Archie, please. And also Hummel. Oh, and also, ooh, yeah, that's going to hurt Hummel, actually. Uh, he'll be able to survive still, but no matter what. Oh, shit. That's a nat 20 for Chisel, but a nat 1 for Petravian. That's beautiful. Always, hey, red and green, like Christmas. It's so, it's so festive. Archie got worse than Petra's nat 1. Yeah. This one's for Vera, 16. Mm-hmm. This one's going to be for Hummel, 18. Excellent. Cool, cool. Okay. So, everyone but Archie and Petravian pass. Oh. So, let me roll some damage here. Okay. That is going to be 16 damage to everybody. It's, so, so it's 16 damage is halved, so it's 30, 33 damage total. So, let me do 33 to those who failed. Ow. 33 to Petravian, 33 to Archie. So Hummel succeeded, so it's going to be normal damage then, correct? Then yeah. it's double damage, but then it's not. Right. Yep. <laughs> that is a stereotype. And that fucking sucks. That does suck. Yeah, 16 damage to those who passed. Oof. So 16 to Vera, 16 to Chisel, and then, yeah, 33 to You're our healer. What are oh, you talking shit, about? Oh, that's right, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right, I am. <laughs> 
Oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right, and that is combat. Whew. Oh boy. Uh, come here, let's me fix you up. I need so, to. So, Beardy, could you describe what's in this room again? Now that all. Of yeah, the... it it appears to be a creepy little workshop. There's everything you need to have to make things like creepy haunted dolls, and you know, weird looking kind of Victorian era toys that just don't seem quite wholesome. Alrighty, so Vera's arms flames start licking from their fingertips, and they go up to her. Uh, elbow, and she starts mm-hmm. flinging flames onto these benches, like the okay. workbenches, and is just going to yeah. blaze them using uh, a produced flame. Wonderful. Alright, go ahead. Boom. So that's going to be how many times can I shoot that? Oh, I think I can shoot that six times. So, like, just six sh- shots of flames into these things. Cool, cool. I'm going to cast uh, Lay on Hands to myself and Vera and Chisel, and one of each, myself, Chisel, and Archie and Vera, and give it an extra one to Chisel. So four, I think, uh, five in total. Okay, roll them and call out the order. Uh, so. For one for myself, that one's for me. Okay, cool. You yeah, what's the number? 32. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, that one's for Vera. this? Call it, call it before you oh, roll sorry, it. sorry, this right, one's Vera yeah. for 27. Yeah, this one's for, this one, next one's for Archie. All right, Archie, 27 again. This one's for Ch- uh, Chisel. All right, and Chisel, 29. Ch- another one for Chisel. Chisel, 22. There we go. Okay. All right. So post-battle, uh, Petra has healed up the group, for the most part. Chisel is, a, is at the mm-hmm. mouth of a entryway into the cave from the workshop. What does Chisel see? A lot of uh, smoke. S- <laughs> <laughs> Chisel sees, yeah, a lot of smoke. A lot of things are burning in this area. Uh, it's what was once a workshop area that has now been set ablaze by an angry druid. Woo! Gotta work on that temper, Vera. Maybe try some I yoga. Think she's fine. Talk to me about it after we're done killing shit. You know. I hope Ish is this. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope the enemy is this easy. <laughs> <laughs> Not as easy as Biff. Oh! Oh! You no, know, I don't really feel good on that one. I do. I'm <laughs> Wait, he would smugly smile if I said I did. Fuck! Alright, so... <laughs> Even when he's not here, Biff still wins. <laughs> <laughs> Which way? Well, um, you're our leader, so... Wherever you want to go. What? All right. Are we in uh, this conversation yet? So, Vera is oh. going to look at these two tunnels, and is going to head to the northern tunnels that is going off of this warp area. Alright. Yeah. I'm talking about from... Oh, yeah. Chisel was in the way, so Vera didn't see that one. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Mm-hmm. Alright, everyone get right. information. You see, in the back of this room, in the back of this long tunnel, there is a small office-looking space that appears to have a bunch of progress reports, and there's two large scrolls on a desk. One is labeled Naughty, and the other one is labeled Nice. <laughs> Uh, in which one? Which direction? Uh, to, to the northeast. Okay. Uh, Petra wants to write his name on the nice list. I don't think okay. you want the presents they're giving. So. Alright, so Vera, as you enter the room, you see that these these two scrolls, these large these large reams of paper that sit on the desk, uh, one of them is massive in how overloaded it is, and the other one appears to be blank. Is this... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is it, the blank this is one? Some say? Shit. Uh, the, the blank one says nice at the top. Uh, first of all, could I write my name on it? Oh my god, very Yeah. Nice. Ooh, okay, yeah. cool. Petra. Can we write all of our names on there? I think so. Sure. Yeah. Let's all put our names on it. <laughs> We're all on the nice list. I've been a good boy. If you're going to do that, kid, someone put my name on it. I, don't... I got it. I, don't I can write really well. And Soul takes out the quill that I assume that's on this desk. Mm hmm. And when they start writing, Vera, if you're watching, their fucking handwriting is cursive AF. It looks so nice and swirly. Ooh, calligraphy. Massive calligraphy points. Nice. Well, the fact is, Soul had etiquette training growing up, so of course they have really nice handwriting. Did they do cotillion? I don't even know what that is. It's an alien from Star Wars. 
okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just such a quick and confident answer. Fuck. God. I love it. Why can't I be that fucking quick? God damn it. That's oh. funny. All right. All right. Yes. I hate you. I was lying directly <laughs> to your face in front of you. Oh, I'll beat your ass later. I know. Mm-hmm. Oh, make and sure. And then I would like to use. I would like to use Spark on the naughty list. Ah oh, shit! Oh Hell yeah. damn! Damn! All right. Oh, put Chisel on there too. He was a good. He is the goodest boy. I put him on there. Yeah. Right, fine. I'll start writing Chisel on the naughty list. No, no, no. Wait. <laughs> Wait. And also Biff. I put Biff on the naughty list before. Yeah. Before I burn it, I put Biff's name on the naughty list. Okay. <laughs> All right. Noted. <laughs> oh, put the enemy on there too. No. Um, Cla- Klaus. Just, just the enemy. The, uh, I Vera writes. <laughs> Vera writes time. <laughs> Soul just shakes their head Inter- and writes entropy, the guys. enemy there. <laughs> enemy of us all. The answer is always entropy. Well, all right, it's true. I'm okay, sure. So you, something you burn really the naughty good. list. You put your names on the nice list. What do you have to do next? Let's see. Well, there's nothing else in here, so let's keep going, Vera. I'm gonna detect magic before we leave. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's there's magic. There's the magic of Christmas. All around. All around. What school is that? Abjuration. <laughs> That's the only one I know. <laughs> Wait, there's illusion, abjuration, necromancy. Necromancy. It's probably mm-hmm. necromancy. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. In this seems place? Like yeah, probably. Vera would like to look into this small cranny that offshoots from the tunnel that it took us to get to the office. That is a blocked up wall. It looks like there's ice that has been laid there, and it's extremely thick looking. Well, that's not very nice. Mm-hmm. Appears to be a tunnel blockage. I could tremor sense to see what's behind it. I can do up to 60 feet. Does that waste a spell? No, I get uh, three, of those, three of those per day. Alright, why not? All right. Uh, what else are you going to use it? Right. <laughs> Petra walks as, up as close to the wall, closes his eyes, and concentrates, and casts okay. Tremor Sense. <laughs> right. Did you cast it? Yeah. Earth Sense. Okay, you gain Tremor Sense to a range of 60 feet until the beginning of your next turn. So you concentrate, and you feel this wall, and you gain Tremor Sense, and you detect no other creatures moving in here okay. within 60 feet of you. Okay. So you detect, you know, your party moving around, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but no one else. Okay. It is dormant behind there, so nothing to nothing to concern ourselves with. I hope. So it's the best time of the year. I mean, is it? Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year. So Vera will make (laughs) her way back into the burning Mm -hmm. workshop and is going to go into the eastern tunnels. Excellent. Okay. Just imagining Soul singing, pacing in circles, cut to Vera with the Terminator theme walking to this <laughs> burning room. Alright, so as you head into the series of tunnels, it becomes darker and colder as you're approaching something deeper in this cave. Something awful. You know what would look really pretty while we're here? Aurora! <laughs> Soul's Dancing lights start to change and flow in an aurora, slow motion, and then nice. and colors. Do I and, hear anything? No. And it the, is the silence of a tomb. And I imagine, are, are these walls ice-like? Oh yeah, they're covered in, in thick sheets of ice. So all yeah. the reflections going off of these dancing lights, I assume, would mm-hmm. be very elegant and pretty. Oh yeah, very much so. You're, you're definitely very much increasing the, the ambience of this place. You're making it bright and cheery just by being there. Do I see anything in this room? No. Just empty rooms filled with ice and just echoing nothingness. Are you just trying to announce our location? But it's so echoey and perfect in here. I just feel Christmas spirit inside of me. (laughs) (laughs) I'm worried about this Christmas spirit. Is it possessing you? I don't know, I'm but it's inside sure. them, so maybe it's a parasite? That sounds dangerous. What was that? Paras- what? <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> Are you contagious? <laughs> I don't care. 
It's just singing, guys. Don't, I sing all the time. Don't see anything in here? Nope. More more of just nothingness. But there are two tunnels forking off to the north and northwest. <laughs> Can we perception so, check to see which way which way to go? So the northwest is is again uh, that one is completely covered over by ice. Oh, okay. <sighs> so so which, far our party has made our way through two bigger sections of the tunnel, uh, both empty, uh, just kind of filled with rocks and ice. Ice, mm-hmm. ice baby. Anything else you can describe <laughs> for what we've been through? Uh, well, aside from it's just, you seem to be moving closer and closer to something dark and cold. You can sense it, you can feel it in your bones, that something up ahead is just dread incarnate. Oh boy, beef. Uh, hey Graham, I'm going to put, I'm going to have a uh, ch- uh, chisel right behind me. So Why? So that I can hop on if necessary. Really, and You don't, you're in, we're in a cave, bro. <laughs> Archie, <laughs> Archie get, is, is this, he can stand behind you and, and get damage <laughs> oh, output. That works. But chisel. So Vera should be in front. Oh, with Petra. Yeah, Vera and and Petra should be in front, but Archie should be right behind them. I ch- I'm trying to get Archie to keep chisel from fucking crowding his shit. Like he okay. keeps doing. Okay. okay. I, I was. Because <laughs> he can't put out that kind of damage. Torch. All right. So we're squeezing through these tunnels. Yeah. Yeah. It's dark and horrible. Well, not too t- terribly dark. I've got pretty. No, not with bodies. the dancing lights. But as you approach, I'd like everyone to make a perception check. Yes, sir. You got it. As you come around this final corner. That is a thirteen for Petra. All righty. So as you come around the corner, you see a large open room that appears to be about 70 feet across roughly circular in shape it has a few side tunnels coming off of it and in the far far edge of the room you see a creature of ice and death let me uh, push a picture and then describe it in the far side of the room you see a enormous draconic creature oh god what okay Turning back. <laughs> That's... <laughs> the Dracolich? You see a skeletal dragon with the barest remnants of flesh hanging between its bones. A white, otherworldly light pours from its mouth and eyes as it sits in wait. It emanates cold to such a degree that this room is painful to be in. And it appears to be waiting for all of you. Good, good. Well then. <laughs> I think it knew we were coming. I wonder how it could have. Yeah, we are being so sneaky. <laughs> Would you like to start yodeling? Uh, I don't think I can. Shall we roll initiative then? Or is he just sitting and waiting for us? Or is he going to let us get the drop on him? <laughs> I'm fine with casting haste right now. Mm-hmm. Unless we're going to talk to him. Uh, I'm waiting. We can talk to him fast. Yeah, he's he's just kind of waiting there, perched at the far end of the room. I can talk to him. I know Draconic. You gonna activate your uh, active vector at all? Oh yeah. <laughs> I just don't have that buff on me. Why do you? Do I just pretend that I have forty extra points? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. just just somebody you activate it, and I'll give you forty uh, tip HP. That I activate the eye of the protector to save all my right. ass in case I get fire, acid, shit, dragon, fuckery. <clears throat> And soul switch to switches to Dragonic. Excuse me, sir. Hello there. Can you hear me? I hear you. Cool. My name's Soul. What's your name? I am Nikolaus. It's nice to meet you, Nikolaus. Can I ask why you terrorize the village down below? I maintain the list of who is nice and who is naughty. Well, and I punish those who are on the naughty list. Well, good news, the East has been updated. Uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, yeah, it does. Really? Oh, we can't understand. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, you can't, un- well, wait. What language is he speaking in? <laughs> um, you know, for for the sake of, of, of clarity, we'll have him be speaking in the same language as everyone else. Well, that what the fuck? What? I mean, it's as if there's no more uh, naughty list. Uh, there, there. I literally, before he gets anything out, I punch Petravian in the face. 
Like the one rule <laughs> is to let me talk to people so that we don't have issues. Like, what, we, all right. Uh, what do I roll for roll, that? Uh, I didn't say. I just thought there was a roll. Uh, it's a. I think it's going to be a D three plus your strength mod, since you're not trained to punch. So D three plus five. Well, do I need to make an attack roll? No, no, no. You 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 can punch Petra whenever you want. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> There's no roll required. Hey, fuck you, Bob. You're flat-footed. Fuck you. Hey, I have flat. I have 22 <laughs> AC flat-footed. All right, so you deal seven points of non-lethal damage <laughs> to Petra. Anyways, what I was saying was, why is everyone down in the village on the naughty list? Why did you put them there? Their reasons are written upon the naughty list. Sins they have committed are tallied. And I can recall it at any time. Hmm. So, who's on the naughty list? <laughs> the naughty list consists of... No one. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> the naughty list is blank. I have no one to punish this year. We saved Christmas! Oh my God! We saved Christmas! <laughs> oh, <I'll> jo- <laughs> uh, Who's on the, must, uh, who's on the... Must be nice Christmas list. Miracle! <laughs> and it, so what, who takes care of the nice list? I do. What happens to the people on the nice list? They get goodies. <gasps> what are your goodies? Huh? Gifts. Presents. Oh. Candies. I like candies. Treats <laughs> for young and old alike. So who? Who's on the nice list? I know that list as well as I know the naughty <laughs> list. Chisel, Lovett, Archie, Vera, Soul, and Petra. Oh, who the thought those are names? Soul's names. partners are on the list too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because they're good. <laughs> As far as they know right now. Yeah. They're good in soul's eyes. Hmm. Well, it's... So... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You're the smartest person Was it supposed now. to go down like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Since you are all on the nice list, I have no quarrel with you. Aw, oh, thank you so Have much. a Merry Christmas. <gasps> you too. Yeah, you too. And uh, we'll, we'll just get going out of Christmas now. We can get out of here now, right? Yeah, how do we get out of here? Yeah, how do we leave? We're stuck here in Christmas Town. Come closer. And I will send you where you need to be. Yes, sir. Petra does. Go. Oh, okay. Petra goes to. Oh, get, uh, get over here, Archie. <laughs> the, the room is indescribably cold. Like you, your skin is burning just being this close to Nikolaus. <sighs> oh, Vera, so like, go, go, go. Vera will uh, produce flame onto their arms. All right. They just gets enveloped in a. <laughs> Blue looking flame. So this great skeletal dragon sort of unfurls itself, its wings cracking and snapping as the joints kind of come back to life. As its its wings begin to flex and spread out to its full size, and it sort of rears up, and the entire dragon just fills the room in a, a way that's indescribably terrifying. And it breathes this ice out of its nostrils that kind of showers the top of the room in glittering ice shards that slowly sprinkle down from the ceiling onto you. It's actually quite beautiful. And it becomes dark in the room. Even with our lights? Mm Mm-hmm. The lights are washed out, and the next thing you know... You find yourselves in the center of Christmas Town. <laughs> Damn it! Oh. How do we have to communicate this out clearly? <laughs> Your carriage is sitting there, 
And sitting in the driver's seat of the carriage is uh, a human female wearing all black. Paris! Oh. Hey, um, is it time to go yet? I've had about as much hot cocoa as I can drink. Where were you? He was drinking cocoa the whole time. Okay, well, yeah, we can get going. We haven't been here that long, but I figured we have places to go, right? There we do. Yeah. Off to the holy city we go. You guys don't want to spend a night in... No. Oh. No. <laughs> the inn looks so lovely. You no, know, I feel kind of bad for putting Beef's name on the naughty list, but it, when are we going to see him again? But it got like, burnt, so no one was there on was the There was nobody on the naughty list true. this year. But then again, there's nobody on the nice list except us. Really well, we did all the work, so... That's fine, yeah. We yeah, but we should have put Barnaby on that list. <laughs> His name is Bosley! And he's an innkeeper! Hi there! <laughs> okay, Karis, start. Let's get going. Yeah, let's get going. Vera will hop onto the front of the cart, and it's going to start the horses moving. <laughs> all right. You set the horses to moving, and the carriage begins to roll out of Christmas Town. Uh, the people of the town wave goodbye as carols hang in the air and the sound of bells carry in the wind. You leave by the eastern road, and the next thing you know, you're swept up in a breeze and a blizzard, and then you find yourselves on the pathway toward the holy city back in Ville. The sun sets, and Christmas begins. Merry Christmas, Merry, everyone! Merry Christmas, Christmas everyone! I'm so happy we saved Christmas by rigging the system. As always, special thanks to William Succi and Andreas Pitchler for the intro and outro themes, and Emily Roll for Fantasy for this episode's soundtrack. Interested in following us on social media? Follow us on Twitter at CheckPleaseDnd. Or want to support the podcast and be part of the Czech Republic? Go to our Patreon under the Czech Republic. Until next time!